Hi. I messed up. <laughs> Kaha, Millie! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Do you guys want an intro? Okay. Um, I'll do the intro this time. Hold on. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Ah, my bad, my bad, guys. I'm sorry. Come me the Yahoo! It's 2.16 p.m. in my time. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Let's see, where's my intro though? Hello? Intro doko? I swear to god, I'm organized. No, not really, I'm not. <laughs> um... Hey, doko? Intro? Intro doko? Is it this one? No, it's not. Hey... Where did I put my intro? What? Maybe an assets? Assets video? Editor 5. Oh, editor Hold on. Let me cancel my slack. Where the intro though? Hold on, hold on. I, I got you guys. Give me one second. Sheesh. Sheesh. Um. Is this the intro? Okay, this is. Um. Uh. I don't know where my intro is. Hi, slack. Oh, that's Ewiwa. Say hi to Ewiwa. Hi, we want slack. Okay, I, I can find the intro. Wait, hold on. Actually, one second. I'll probably find the source using the. Okay, here. Intro. Um, how do we find it using my OBS? Property. Oh, it's on stream! Okay. I see. Stream videos. And then my intro. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, here we go, guys. I'm gonna put it on, okay? Are you ready for my intro? Oh, there's two intros here, though. Which one is it? This one. Oh, fuck. That's freaking loud. Okay, here. I'm I'm gonna try my best to do my intro. Okay, ready? <laughs> Yay, comedy. Okay, good. Okay, I got my intro. How's everyone, by the way? Hold on, let me check Pyre. Don't worry, guys. It's at 334 gigabytes of 63 gigabytes. It's okay. We got this. Can I guys tell you what happened to me yesterday? I said it on my ASMR stream, but I'll say it again because it's really funny and I'm so dumb. Okay, so I was watching some videos on YouTube, you know, your typical recommendation videos. And, um, I like to say, like, L. Not exactly like L, but, you know, like, my, my legs is, like, sticking up in uh, the chair. Like, a uh, Yakuza, kind of, you, you know. And then, I put it down to stretch. Yeah? And then I put it back up. And I heard, like, a... <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then it started hurting. It, I don't know. Have you ever guys experienced this kind of like... Thing? I don't know if it's like a nerve that got stuck. And like your half of your leg just kind of hurts. 
it might be a l nerve injury. I don't think it's a cramp. It hurts. It hurts really bad. Hmm. Could be a nerd. My tendon snapping. Yeah, and the first thing I said was like, call 911. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> I don't think it's a sprain because it fixed after 20 minutes. I just like stuck in that position for maybe 15 minutes until my bladder was like, Mini washroom time! Oh, you gotta go! <laughs> and I'm like, fuck! Why do you have to come at the most difficult time where I'm struggling to even stretch my other leg? So I kind of like crawled. I did like, um, like those military stuff that you kind of like crawl. <laughs> And I was like, no, I can't do this. So I tried to stand up using like uh, like the things I could grab, whatever. And then I tried to like skip, uh, like do a hump day. And then when I sat down on the washroom, it's gone. And I was like, what the fuck? You almost made me call 911. Seriously, I was like so in pain that I thought it was really serious. Because I checked wiki, 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 <laughs> wiki. WebMD? Yeah? Yeah, ever got like a scenario where they're like, Oh shit, what's happening to me? A time to check the internet for self-diagnose And then you check up, Oh shoot, I'm gonna die <laughs> That's like me So basically, when I searched it up on the internet It was like, please call an ER right away And you know me, I was like panicking real hard And I was like, oh shit Okay, I gotta go Ah, uh, my leg <laughs> And I was like debating, you know, the first thing that came in my mind was like, Oh, do I have to pay for the ER? Because I don't want that. <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh. <sighs> yeah, that's my first thought. Do I have to pay? Because I don't want to pay. I'm sorry. It's just like... It's that mindset, you know? The poor mindset strikes in right away. When you gotta pay, you don't wanna pay. You know? No, I'm more like... I don't wanna pay if it's something insignificant. And I also don't wanna waste the paramedic's time to, you know, just check like... Oh my god, she just had like a <laughs> nerve. Because like, those paramedics, they're probably... Very busy in their own land, you know. You 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 never know that someone out there actually needs their help rather than me just like, oh my my leg. But I was actually so 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 close to calling nine one one that time because it really hurts. Like when I I could move it left and right, but if I could, I can't stretch it vertically. Mm. And yeah, that was that was something. <laughs> So, I haven't, um, I haven't curled up my legs since now. It's always straight. I'm so scared. <clears throat> Ma! Oh, did I post my kimchi fried rice? Would yet? Oh, no, I haven't. Huh, hold on. I'm eating something. Almost done with pirate guys, don't worry. Almost done. And I'm eating. Did I not post it on Twitter? Oh, I haven't, huh? Okay. Oh, oh. Let me add it. So, my dumbass finished shutting up her audio at like 2 255. So I was like, oh yeah, I have time. I have time to reheat up my kimchi fried rice and up shit on it. So, I've been eating this for three days, by the way. <laughs> you guys haven't made kimchi fried rice? Basically, you, um, you eat it, like, you make it, and you make a batch, a big batch of it, and then you split it in, like, small quantities. That's how I make it anyway. So, this is my third day eating kimchi fried rice. And, you know, I, I love kimchi fried rice. So, yeah, I added spam on this one because I love spam. And I also added some eggs. Let me let me send a photo real quick. Aww. I thought I already sent it on my Twitter, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I'll show you guys my food. Beep, 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 beep. Give me one second. Let me just access my Discord. Oh, it looks ugly. But it's okay. Whatever. Yes. Okay, let me see. Is there any reflection here? I don't want you guys seeing my nasty ass face. Monotove, CJ, thank you for the super! As an XEMT, please call us. For leg lock? Well, I feel like I'm just overreacting now. I don't know, when is the right time to call an ER anyway? Okay, I got it. I got the goods. Here we go. Here's my kimchi fried rice. Oh shit, that's so freaking hello. That's too big. What the? It's freaking big. Ah. When you feel like you're dying? Yeah. So basically, this is my kimchi fried rice. How come it looks so weird? Oh, it's because it's supposed to be vertically. Wait, no, horizontally. No, vertically. No, what? How do I flip vertically? No? What the? Well, I'm just flipping it. On maybe 90 degrees? There you go. Um, kind of like that. Anyway. Wait. No. How do I... I can't math, guys. Who is the smartest member in Niji Sanji? I want to collab with them. I want to learn the ways, you know. Okay, there you go. Yay. So, this is my kimchi fried rice. As you can see, there is a, a spam in it. And you can see a bunch of kimchi. And uh, here's my egg. I love egg. But, you know, this is my favorite part. This is probably my... I don't know if you guys like this, but this is my personal... Um... Preference when it comes to egg. I like crispy... Sides of egg. And this one... This one specifically is my favorite type. Like, it's raw in the inside. But the outside is like crispy on the edges. Ooh. So good. Yeah, so uh, this is my, uh... My type of egg. Yum, 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 yum. Oh yeah, I have this. Maybe I should post this on Twitter. So, if, if you need someone to cook kimchi fried rice, just call me. I have catering services on. Dial now. Um, one, uh, two, four, three, four, dash, milli... Food services. Does that make sense? Milly food. There you go. Any um, catering services I provide? Just um, what do I know? I have a waffle maker. I have a takoyaki maker. Well, it's actually a cake pop maker, but you know, if you want cake pop? I could make cake pop. I could also make takoyaki and uh, waffles. Whatever you want on your waffles. You want vegetable waffles? Yeah, just come to me, man. Air fryer? Yeah, I do have an air fryer. You want me to vacuum your venue? I have a vacuum. But that's a separate kind of job, you know? That's merely cleaning services. You have to... That's a separate part of the bill. That's a... You gotta... You gotta pay separately for that, unfortunately. <laughs> what else? Mm. Want me to cook egg for you? Crispy sides egg? I got you. I can do all types of eggs, guys. Fried, boiled, poached. Mmm. What else? Sunny side up. Medium. Well done. I got you, man. Eggs, Benedict. No. <laughs> okay, except eggs, Benedict. Scramble. <laughs> Yeah, got you guys. Any type of egg. Over here, I yeah, got you, got you. Oh, uh, eggs Benedict is difficult. I tried doing it the other day, and it was like, hmm. I thought I could do this properly. You have to mix mayonnaise on the side, even dumb. So. Like, I had also trouble doing my egg gum, my, my souffle pancakes. I tried doing it one day. 
for for fun. Well, not for fun exactly, but like I just want to try it because I do have the ingredients at my kitchen. Like, let's make souffle pancakes. And oh my god, I was so wrong. It was the most difficult thing ever. It's more like you have to make sure that you make it fluffy, right? And I kind of like overflip it. So basically, you have to separate the the egg whites in the yolk itself. And then you have to mix them again And then you have to like, kind of like flip them in order for you to get that like fluffy consistency And then you have to put it on the pan So the first one, I, I over flipped them So all the bubbles kind of like came out of the... The pan Oh no, all the bubbles kind of like... It went flat Basically And then the second one, I kind of overcooked it or I overcooked it and it burned because you know the when you cook over a electric stove sometimes the heat does not separate evenly or it doesn't heat up evenly and so I have to like make sure to find out which one is like the right spot and then sometimes it crumbles uh, it's just a whole mess but it's still good you know yeah, so just buy if you guys are gonna make a souffle pancakes, the wiggly one, just just make just buy it. <laughs> Not worth. <sighs> All right, okay, I think it's done. I go for waiting. Hold on, let me open it real quick. Do do Ah, oh, it's installing. What? I thought I installed you already. Dun, 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 dun. You know, I'm really... I'm really, really into the ending song of Attack on Titan. What was that? What's that? What's that? Some da 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 Oh shit, that sounds like Hades! <laughs> oh, nice! Okay, let me see. Oh, the god. Very Hades. Subtitles on for everyone. Mm -hmm. Volume brightness. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's very Hades. Wah. Oh, sorry, guys. Can you hear it, by the way? I don't know if you could hear it. Can you hear it? Why is it on this call? All right. Oh, why? Give me one sec. Borderless. And then, um, 1920. 1920. Okay. It didn't work. Pyre? Pyre? Hello? Okay, yay. Boom, boom. Frick, I wanna play Hades now. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I wanna play Hades tomorrow. Anna's playing Hades. I'm, I'm gonna see if I could, like, backseat. <laughs> Before I stream Pyre again. Uh, one sec. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna mild with you guys if she messed up. I'm gonna be that one backseater who's like, Oh my god, you're not using it properly! <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of worried. I'm... She might not like Hades because it's, um... It might be kind of not her forte, but you know I'm dumb. You know? That says a lot. If the, someone dumb like me could like Hades and play Hades, I'm pretty sure that she could play Hades as well. Uh, she got this. And I just hope she appreciates it because if she doesn't appreciate it, I will freaking cut and entice friendship with her. Just kidding. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, if she says something bad about Hades, I'm gonna freak it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let me let me set this up real quick. Like this. Okay, let's 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 switch. Whee! Hi! Hello! And welcome to Pyre, aka my display screen. Uh Oh, I want I want Rayma to play Hades too. Hmm. Maybe I should and Petra. <laughs> Let me. Is is Fire better to play in, uh, um, uh, in a controller or in a keyboard? Does anyone here? No. Let me see. Uh, my my wires are kind of like stuck everywhere. I'm setting up, setting up. Controller? Controller, okay, okay. Let me let me grab my controller real quick. My controller. My Xbox controller that I bought. Refurbished, by the way. Never buy brand new, it's just a controller. The only thing that you need to buy brand new is a vacuum. And uh is that the only thing that I bought that is brand new? What, really? Oh shit, even my PC is not brand new. Wait, hold on. Did I buy anything brand new? Graphics card? No, my PC, I bought it from someone else. Food? Of course. <laughs> uh. Monitor? Oh yeah, well, the monitor is in clearance. My monitors are clearance. And then my second monitor is just a... Uh, um, it's a hand-me-down. Let me see. So, my second monitor is a hand-me-down. My keyboard is a hand-me-down. Uh, my PC is... Um, bought it from Gigi, which is like someone they sell PC parts. What else? Uh... Stream Deck? I have a Stream Deck, but I never used it. I got that in Kijiji as well. What else? Um... My Switch! Oh! My Switch! Yeah! My Switch is, uh... My Switch is brand new when I bought it. I really wanted to get the Animal Crossing Limited Edition one. So... I had to pre-order it. My ASMR equipment! Oh, yeah! My Tascam is new. My 3DO is new. Um, You're right. My ASMR equipment is brand new. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. But that's because I got into Niji. So, basically, my, my Niji paycheck just all went to... <laughs> I just all went to my equipment. Show us your island? No, you can't. I can't show you guys. I'm sorry. There's nothing in there. Anyway. Okay. Alright. Let's play. Do I have to restart? I just plug in my... Um, my... Keyboard. Controls. Here. I wanna use my keyboard. Please let me use... Do I have to restart? Oh, it's pretty good. Cool. Tickle, tickle, tickle. I'm tickling chat. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, little, tickle, tickle, tickle. Why are you not uh, laughing, huh? Is my tickle not funny enough? Come on. Where's your tickle spot? Is it here on the up? <laughs> is it here? Is this your tickle spot? Or is it at the bottom? Is it here? Is it here? <laughs> Okay, I'm having so much fun. Uh, let's see. We need to... Hello? It's not working. Should I restart? Okay, I'll restart. Bye-bye. Bye, Pyre. Ta -da -da! Yes. Ta -da 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 Da 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 da
nothing nothing to check check out here just a bunch of robe enjoyers trying to enjoy some robes you know trying to say here you go here's your own special robe welcome okay let's see um come on i just want to play with my please mouse presets it says i can't use yeah, not we're not shady. What do you mean? We donate to charities and stuff. I'm not shady at all. <laughs> Never shady, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Cool. All right, we got in. I'm in. Ooh. Now I can't tickle chat anymore. What is this? It's a hole. Did you guys know that donuts are supposed to be? They're kind of not like donuts before, but they're now because... <laughs> Hi, Albert! This game looks fun! These nuts! Okay. I don't know, I just want to say these nuts to Albin. New campaign. Yo, Albin, do you want to play... Um, I'm out of here. Albin, do you want to play... Um, What's something... What give, Can you guys give me a game that would make Alban uncomfortable? Um... <gasps> oh! Alban, you wanna play Hades? I could buy you Hades. Hi, Tony! Oh, I like your robe. Nice. How to pull boyfriend? Yeah, something that would make him like... Oh my god, um... How about... Um... What is that everyone saying about? Bible Black? I remember people saying... Yeah... Is that a game? <laughs> I don't know, is that, is that a game? <laughs> no? Someone... Someone in my Vampire Survivor say that... Uh... That game is... Cause I, I said like Bible Black when I got this um, updated, upgraded thing, and everyone was like, "No, oh, it's anime too." Oh, really? Whoa, how do you guys know, huh? You guys watch it, huh? You guys did, didn't you? Let me tickle you guys. Yeah, watch it, didn't you? <laughs> All right, let's start. Should I just play Reduce because I'm a baby, or should I just play Standard? It's a famous piece? Better than One Piece? Classic? Wait, wait, wait. So, you know like how Shonen Jump has like four big... Uh... Mangas? Is there like a four big... Anime 2s? <laughs> one is Bible Black. I don't know what else. <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes, actually! Wait, for real? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> What's the first one? <laughs> Wait! Don Sullivan, thank you for the donation! Pathologic, too is fun for the whole family. Pathologic, okay. You don't want to save them? Euphoria, Bible Black. Oh, isn't Nicoparo like also a classic? Baited. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you guys showing off your anime 2 preference? Holy! I don't need to know that! Keep it to yourself, man! <laughs> Sheesh! Alright, <laughs> let's actually play the game. <laughs> aim assist! Oh, yeah. Why do I need aim assist? Is this a. Okay, I'll... can I. How. Do we wanna just enjoy the story or should we just like try hard and play standards? Your adversary shall fight back against you? Shall not hold back. Boku no Pico? Is that anime too? I don't know. I, th I thought it's just a meme. Was there an iceberg of um, anime too as well? Nightwing? No, that's two curse. Oh. 
Don't even go there? Okay. Okay, I'll trust you guys. No way, I don't know. It's just a meme, no? That means it's hard? Oh, okay. That's just comment. Standard. Oh, God. Let me know if it's too loud. Ooh, is it not so pretty? The line? Finally, after 30 minutes, we're starting. Ooh! Gonna start? Is it starting? Do I click? Oh, oh wait, I click. <laughs> Fancy, I know. When did they start play? Um, where did they start showing this? Blaming this? When did it release? There you go. Ooh, I love that. Love that base. <clears throat> oh, I have to. S oh wait, I'm blocking it. Sorry guys, let me let me move myself real quick. Where do I go? I feel like here. Okay, <laughs> I'm at the bottom. The most bottom. Okay. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Oh shit! What the fuck? Now, as you lie, yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. My ears! Oh shoot! Okay, you guys could wear my ears today. There you go. Now, saying yeah. Move cursor here. Downside. A vast purgatory into which the commonwealth cats, its convicts and enemies, none have been known to return from the forsaken land. Okay. So we got outcast then? What happened to us? We just started and we're already like outcasted? Huh. <sighs> Another piece of filth expelled from the commonwealth. See, right on schedule. What I tell you. You told us we would find someone alive. Someday. I said we'll find someone alive someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know, I see frowning underneath that mask. Vante, thank you for the super! By the way, I haven't told you already. What? Wait, hold on. You have to, uh, you have to go to the options menu to change your character's gender. You can change it in real... Oh, wait, you can change genders here? Yo, real as long as the chat wears the ears, we have to say yeah every comment. Yeah, exactly. Persona te temo. Oh, is this a guy? Masked man. Looks like she's breathing. Soon enough. It seems she still is. Then stand aside. I shall send her to a better place. No! Don't kill me! Iada! She's a she? Can you can you people just tell? Tereulios. Hang on. The markings on her rags. I think she's one of them. But look at her. She's beyond all help, and we are beyond hers. Yeah. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the day goes dim. You have at best an hour. Pistos. Understood. I won't be long. I love the music. Oh my god. Let's freaking go. The music. After the others leave, the man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Oh, hello. Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equals nothings here. You are parched. And he gives you drink. You ache. And he binds your wounds. You hunger. And he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. No. Come on. Hi, Hedwin. Let's see. He's one of the three mask wanderers who found you clinging to life in the downside. All right. Are you guys exhale too, like me? One of us, one of us. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to the old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals. All through alabaster streets. Oh, English. Proud country recent from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to the multitude of ethnic groups. Founded on principles of mercy and kinship, whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Alright. Heaven becomes to you to enter the black wagon. Okay! Ah. Ojamashimasu! 
Oh, ooh. You guys live like this? <laughs> Damn. Damn, boys. You live like this? The weather-beaten wagon is much mess inside us out. You see the maxed woman and talkative creature talking stuck of ancient looking books. I'm back. And with a guest. She loosens the clasp on her mask. You may call me Judario. Ooh, pretty. And as for myself, the small one struggles with his mask. I can't take this off. Help, Judario, help me. Oh wait, she did. He did. Thank you. Oh, it's the most imposing of the three mask wanderers who found you clinging on life. Super Giant really loves dogs. I I'm sensing something here, Super Giant. This is my final game, by the way, so I'm gonna take my sweet ass time to enjoy this game because I'm going to wait after her. <laughs> I don't wanna end. I don't wanna end my Super Giant games. Come on, please make more. I can't wait. When did they release Hades again last year? Wow, I have to wait four more years again. Four more years? Maybe I'll get a family. <laughs> and then uh, when Super Giant Game comes out, I'm gonna be like, get out, get out. I don't need you guys. They're out. Their new game is out. Don't talk to me. Do not come to me. I shall relieve all of my adult responsibilities for me to play all Super Giant games. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> me! Okay, let's continue. Ow! That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Ryuki Greentail. Ryuki? Ryuki? What do you mean, Millie? You already have a family. Yeah, guys. We're gonna be together through thick and thin. For 20 years, 30 years. Till death do us apart. The time you join the membership, you can't get out anymore. You own the, the robe. Once you put on the robe, you cannot take the robe off. Even in shower. Even if your family asks you, Why are you wearing a robe inside the house? Just say, I can't take it off. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, welcome. Welcome, Walter. Enjoy your robe. <laughs> it means we're gone when the next game comes out. Oh no. Such pleasantry out of the way. The horned woman then motions to the other. She glances you sidelong as she speaks. So. Can she do it? Do what? Salahaladium. Hope so. I haven't asked her yet. Oh, wait. Yada! Yamite! <laughs> what am I going to do? My only charm port is my boobs. That's it. I'm pretty useless in everything else. What? What are we waiting for? Hey, a sister. Nice meeting you, I know, but let me tell you something. You know to read or what? Uh-oh. Wait. How does he know? I I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. Julius, welcome to the family. Enjoy your robe. Can I have a double rope with extra double rope? What? You mean double burger? Okay. I can't read. He's asking if I'm a reader. Well, technically, I don't read. I can't read. So, no, I'm gonna. Oh, wait, what? Literacy is a serious crime. Finally! Ooh, finally. People can't read. No one in their right mind would dare to violate the law of the land. Cool. Reader, the one who can derive meaning from text. Literacy has been prohibited for centuries. Those with the knowledge of the old wills violate the law of the land. Okay. Admit it, deny it. Every time you manage to learn something from the old ways in spite of the Commonwealth decree, remain silent. You are or what you did to earn your sentence is no one's business but my own. Well, technically, I can't read. Meow. Here we go. 
I can't read, guys. I'm sorry. It's it's just how it is. I'm a VTuber, though. I don't know if that helps. You tell them that you don't know how to read. The mere insinuation is insulting. Oh, shit. Did I offend them? You sense, however, that, do that they do not believe you. Uh-oh. But I, I can't read, for real. Vante, thank you for the super! Finally, your Mega 3 int is appreciated in high-class society. <laughs> this is where I belong, guys. Oh, no! I made it mad! Come on, now! What do you take us for? You've got the markings plain as day, so I don't let you add us your lying sister. Uh-oh. I had to choose what got in you here for the first place, am I right? Uh-oh. Reader, you still live thanks to us. We asked for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Kogitenta. Sorry to put you on the spike like this, my friend. Whoa! Oh, that is very Hades. Oh my god. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. Have a look. Okay. Let me see. Where's the book? <gasps> oh, shoot! You could move. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What are these? Uh, old rhymes. Colorful robes and ceremonial mask adorn one of the wagon's walls. Odd creatures. Hungry looking creatures roost at some sort of attic. There's nothing you could do for them now. Intricate sigil. Symbol of some sort setting your wagon's floorboards. You cannot sense its purpose. Cool. Side door. Beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you would not get that far. Time to get out. Gotta yeet. Okay, where's the book? This one? Oh, my controller is vibrating. One of the several heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles may not seem very interested in them. Here. Wow, my controller. Oh, it stopped. Interact to learn more. Okay. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes bound in materials you do not recognize. Oh, cool! Oh, that is very, 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 very Hades. That is the boom. The boons. You get, when you get the boonies, you could you hear that? Oh my god! What's this? Oh shoot! Oh, you could read it. Okay, no, no, what? Let's 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 do the hard mode. We we gotta love the Lord of the Rings format, you know. Forward. A formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote the Book of Rites. That you possess it and have the capacity to clean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus we reveal a path from the forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. The storms themselves shall be your guide. Here, ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of the eight as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumphate, clad in remnants of the rites, bearing this book, obliging the voice that tells you more. Ooh, this sounds cute. Okay, I didn't understand what I just read because I'm on TLDR. <laughs> uh. I want to say sorry for your loss or congratulations. <laughs> yeah, you want a higher volume? <laughs> Wait. Do you guys want a higher... Uh, like, uh, everyone said... I don't know if I could... Okay. TLDR book stuff. You can... You can read, so follow the stars to go to the place. Ah, Naruto! The book describes a complicated method to which excels can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwig gets their attention. Oh, Okay, so basically, so far we have we are exiled, for some reason. Uh, for me, it's because I can't read. I mean, I can read. Ooh, I could read here. <laughs> and for others, we shall see. Probably some crimes and stuff. And Commonwealth is kind of like the Utopia. The Utopia and... Uh, okay. Seek the nearest shiny. Gotcha. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give up. 
Oh, oh, Hedwin, I feel sick. I'm gonna fall on your arms. <laughs> Did he take care of me? Is this a cutscene? For real? Yeah, the reader is the down bad Dare way. Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? So soon after your sentence into exile, tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Wait! Perhaps not you yourself. Is this the same voice actor as our narrator? The privilege. And Hades, that? You witness now the path oh, he sounds so different salvation. here. You witness the rights. The one way to return to glory. Oh my god, can I just Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. It's so pretty. This Yet, game's so pretty. By the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Hello, Shay. It work. Hold on. Okay. So, did we go and take the book? Is that what happens? Hold on. Let me drink water. It worked. Okay. Hold on. I'm I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> oh, the music is beautiful. So it is true. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? Now, where am I? Very I just good. fainted. Oh, did I transport the three of them into the book? She should be out there still. For now, we have to put our fate in her. She could abandon us. She won't. Oh, Edwin! Why do you so much trust in me? <laughs> well, thank you. I won't give you down. I won't let you down. I promise. I'll get you out of there! You three! I swear on my reading literacy skills. You look upon the three of them as beyond as Hedwin calls them out to you. I'll do what I say. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now, I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to all come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. Okay, this is the difficult part because I can't play for real. So a celestial orb falls from the heavens. Please. The time is nigh. I hope you guys give me some patience. Okay, I hope you you okay. Uh, okay. go near. Mm. All right. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate. Triumvirate. They must prove their trust in one another. You trust me with this ball? Not just in themselves. Trust me with the ball? Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, he's heavy though. Oh, why is he so heavy? Yeah. Clap pass. Oh. The Whoa. three must act as one. Cool. Pass the ball. RT to sprint. Oh, no, no, no. Cool. Can I... Okay. Okay. Can you run? Oh, he could sprint. Right. Where's this? Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be purified. Okay. How do I how do I plunge? How do I plunge? Do I just click on it? No. Um, hold on. Yes. Oh, oh, you just go the in. Exile has the way of it. Okay. Whoever uh. steps into the flame is banished for a time. Oh, banished for what? These or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. Oh, do I win? In the rights, you oh, shall cool. face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. But that's just me. It's my shadow. Beware the aura <laughs> so that cute. surrounds them. <laughs> they shall beware yours. Okay, you still approach the adversary. What? Oh, wait! I killed them! The aura is what? your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Sure. What? What does that mean? Come on. 
Cast your aura like a stone. Oh, like this? Correctly done. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Logan. Appreciate Again. the narration. Again, um, here. Just so. Oh, oh, where did the ball go? A glorious performance, I admit. Thank you very much, More sir. More than I expected from the likes of you. I've been playing Super Giant Grasp Games, sir. the orb once more. The orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb quenches the flame. Oh, so no aura if you don't have it. Naruhodo. So how do I get in there? Now I say jump. No, no, thank you for the two-month membership. I hope you're enjoying the robe. Press X to leap into the adversary spire. Okay. Not quite. Not quite. I'm sorry. One more time. Into the flames. I'm trying my best with my plane. Do it. I'm ducking. Thank you. The orb into the waiting flame. All right. Oh. Now. Jody Chan. The adversary's pyre, whilst right. yours yet burns. Okay. Get out of here. Oh! Oh no! A bit of a blunder. <laughs> Simply <laughs> abhorrent. Yeah. No! What happened? Eh? What? Okay. Again. 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 Get out of here. Get it, get it, come on. Okay. Oh shit! It's fucking. Yeah. Why do I keep doing that? Glory to the scribe. Oh my god, can I hold on. That jumping animation, that's very Hades, you know, when he jumps to the chaos. Sorry, it's just random. Oh fuck. Quite the turn of events. Okay. How do I grab it? How do I grab it? Oh my god. Wait, what? How did I grab it? How do I grab that shit? Oh, Tough oh luck, fuck. Night oh my god, hold on, hold on. Quite the close call there, no? Yeah, um... Give me one second, I'm trying to figure out how to work. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just gonna... Exactly by the book. Thank you! Go B? Okay. How do we... Be gone! Okay. Be gone! Fuck! I just like... Dash, like... Oh, no, 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 no! Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you like, Rita. Oh. 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 So we just kill everything then. That was all of them. Yeah. I know, I figure out. The right is complete. Okay, so all you have to there, do dear reader, is to just kill all understand. of them. Yes, I or did. Do you? Logan, no, I this did not. How did you know? That which <laughs> I would tell you to turn back, cast down your hope. But all those such as you, me, you never listen nor read. Oh god, that was beautiful. Besides my really bad play of uh, this game, that was beautiful. The mechanics is a little bit difficult. It's not your typical bastion with brute force or transistor with the real time or the pausing thing. This is a completely new mechanic for me. It might take me some quite some time before I get used to this. But you know... You know what? I don't care. I love Super Giant, so I will learn it. Even if I keep dying multiple times. Is there a safe here? Replayable one technically besides Hades? Mmm. It all the saves? Okay. So I could die multiple times? That's fine. Alright guys, I'm eating. Sorry, chewing. The others are still picking up themselves as you awaken. Oh, you come, come, come! Well, that was something. No 
That was where we out. So now we just follow the stars or what? Supposedly. Reader, come. Let us regard the night. What does that mean? I'm going to sleep. Jadaria leads you outside where the clear night sky awaits. Now, show us. Before the howlers catch our scent. Where shall the rites commence? You gaze at the stars. I don't see anything. I only see my chat. <laughs> Seek out to my destination. Ooh! Pretty. Okay, let's go to the shiniest one. Go, the South Star. South Star burns bright over a massive drift of stone much farther than the naked eye can see. Interact to determine the location of the next right. What is that? Oh my god, the animation's so good! It's so good! What the hell? Huh, so, um, Transistor... When did Transistor got released and when did Pyre get released after? I just want to see how long did they make this. Because it's so good! What? Hmm... 200 leagues due east. The Ridge of Goal. Great! And we're supposed to be there when exactly? 2014 to 2017, only three years? That's crazy. Very soon, according to the stars, you should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. In then we had best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laps at least. What do you say, Jody? Jadario turns to you, studying me. Ooh, is she checking me out? Um, hi. <laughs> Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What you mean is... Glad to have you aboard, sister! We're counting our new, my friend. See you inside. Freedom. The rights are the key. It is a lot to take in. You follow the exiles awaiting your wagon. Join them. Come on, Bamanos! Everybody, let's go! Come on, let's get to it! I know that we can do it! Where are we going? Chuk, chuk, chuk. To the rights of soul. Where are we going? Chuk, chuk, chuk. To the downside prairie. <laughs> oh my god, that was pretty. Kuroshi, super thank you. That was really pretty. That was super pretty, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just a big fan girl now. You arrive in downside prairie. Where the fork road is ahead. Where the fork road? Where the road is ahead and fork. There's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. Downside prior? Verdant regions. Wakaru. Whoa! Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys can see, huh? Hold on. Sorry, guys. I have to make you guys smaller, too. So you can see the sprite. Um, I'm so sorry. I hope that's okay. It's pretty cute. Rookie! I'm telling you, we ought to take the northern pass! Got an associate hold up in the hollow route I've got to pay a visit to. Besides! Hollow route, northern route of the Ridge of Gold. Goes through a small exile encampment. Every so often, tempters come and scar away the hovels, but they always come prep back. Fie on your associate. Best we had Blooming Pool and avoid detention. Blooming Pool, southern route to the Ridge of Gold goes through the humid area pocked. Poc poke? Pocked? With hot springs. Ooh, hot spring time, run off to the sand falls. No, means no bathing in the spring. No! So they're just there to mock you. No! My onsen! My onsen route. And get stuck in a bog while we're at it. The dispute continues, Hedwin. Listens for a while. Okay. Hedwin is, we know him. What if the reader settled this? She marks the way. We get us there. Um, rites. Ancient ritual through which the worthiest exile regained their freedom. So, rites is the, like the basketball. <sighs> If these rites are meant to test our fate, 
then we best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing her along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yuppie. Yeah, sure. Kaderas. If necessary. Pistalium. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. <laughs> Important. Wait the option. Okay. Oh, I get to choose? You may choose a route towards your goal at certain junctures. Okay, let's see. Ugh. Hollow route, the northern rural route of the reach of gold. Goes for a small XL encampment. Ricky knows someone there who owes him. The southern route of reach of gold goes for a humid area packed with hot springs. Okay, guys, which way should we go? Should we go hollow route with the, go the good boy or blooming pool? It probably doesn't matter at this point because it is the first game, but I'll let you guys decide. Hold on, let me make a poll real quick. Let me make a poll, that way I have time to eat. <laughs> I'll find a good way to excuse myself while... Oh, wait. No, no, not yes or no. <laughs> uh, up or down? Sheesh. Yes. <laughs> Who is the six people that voted? You guys are fast. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna eat real quick because I still have a few more bites full of my food. Okay. Six to seven of you guys said up, so we go up. And we just remove this. I'm gonna unpin this message. <sighs> okay, let's go! Oh my god, I love that animation. Sheesh! Pretty, really pretty. Does Hades have this kind of animation? I don't think so. Ooh, wow, that's really pretty. As you pass through the squalid little area, you hear boisterous voices coming up from what looks to be a public house. Rookie stumbles forth from it, holding something in his paws. Rookie is what? Opportunistic and well-connected cur that's still clinging on his once comfortable lifestyle. Oh, is he like a, a rich kid? Boy, is he exiled though. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, sister. Just wrapping up a real important exchange back there. Hang on to this for me, will you? We'll have to drop it off or we head further north. Plain parcel. You can't tell what's like. This can be sold at the slug market. Different types of luxury goods. Some of the final right down to the downside. Okay, let's keep going. So worth it. Are you sure is it better to find something on the hot springs? Hmm. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gold. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the rite. Commence the rite! Page reveal the first exile. Oh, that's so pretty! Holy smokeroni. Okay, um, I guess if we click on this one, we're gonna play, right? Let's see what the black wagon looks like. Ah! He's so cute! Rookie's so cute! Who's the good boy? Green too! They're not wrong. Yo, what's up, Rookie? Hey, sister. Appreciate you taking us up through the hollow route back there. About that, are you certain that parcel will fetch us an adequate price at the slug market? Surely we could have procured some sort of rare fungus that we have gone out of the way. Slug market is crude trading post from the downside. All right. Uh, uh, much as I love the idea of procuring rare fungus there, Jody, we said we wouldn't go around second guessing our good sister's decisions, right? <laughs> Jodariel says nothing in response, but soon changes the subject. <laughs> Nightfall soon. Come along, Greentail. We have much left to prepare. Greentail, so cute. What a good dog with a mustache. I want to have a, a dog with a mustache. Bye bye. 
two of them go as soon as rummaging through the raiments and books strewn around the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. A white. <gasps> Green two family portrait. Reasonable likeness of our younger rookie with his mother and uncle. That's so cute. Can we take a look at it? Ugh. Oh my god, that's so cute! Oh my god, I want a, I want a plushie of this! Creatures such as this must have been bred to push the black wagon along. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's no horse! Oh yeah, there's no horse in there! Attic ladder. Uh, only one the way up to the... I can't... Drive imp... Wait, what? Way up to the wagon's drive imp centrifuge. Only imps could fit in there. Oh, so they move through imps? So the fly is oh, all. Blow the candles. Wait, you can blow the candles. <gasps> cool. Uh, common room. Your fellow XL's living quarters are functional, but little else. Roster. Oh, 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 oh. Common room. Imps run on a hamster wheel, the cart moves. Oh! In the common room, you may review various notes and observations about your fellow XLs and their respective paths towards enlightenment in the rites. Whoa. Whoa! That's a lot of words! Um, okay, let's read them. So, this is Headwind with uh, the fancy H. <laughs> if you didn't remove. If I didn't know your name, I would have just said Edwin, but because I know your name. I know how you... I know how to read your name. The free spirit. He wanders downsides in a search of late to regain his freedom and return to his home. He is the one who nursed you back from the brink after finding you in the downside. His genial manner suggests that life in exile has not yet broken his spirit. He wears a bronze glass identical to that of Jodariel, suggesting the two of them may have met before the exile. He has not yet revealed what he did to turn his sentence. Ah, uh, thank you for the soup! Sopa Sun Lugao. What? With what? With egg? Thank you! The fallen soldier, Judariel. Pearls are real in the slow thick line. Okay. Race demon, hold on. What is he? Human past outrider. Crime motive, your sex cell. Right. He she's a demon and also a veteran? Whoa. Is she so cool? She seems to be responsible for Black Wagon security. Her features suggest she has lived in exile for much longer than the others. Her grim outlook and the fact that she still wears the bronze class of Commonwealth Blood Order suggests a military background. Though what she did to earn her sentence, you do not yet to know. Oh, okay. Fortunistic, well connected, Kerr still clinging to his once comfortable lifestyle. Okay, shrimp. Lunch. Oh. Race cur. Swift dog die creatures for their loyalty, optimism, and appreciation for simple things. Okay. He seems to be well collected of the mask wanderers who found you and know something of the land. Has read our opportunistic disposition and his own ostentatious clothing suggests a lucrative background in mercantile business. Oh, he's a merchant! But even still, you do not know for sure what he did to earn his sentence. I know, probably scammed. These two, I don't know, they look like very... Um... Since this girl's from the military, he probably has like some sort of... Uh, justice. They look like good people, but... If they are good people, then why are they in the... Why did they get exiled? <laughs> Dog crimes. Took someone's bone. Uh, thank you for the soup! People turn into demons if they stay in the... Oh! Is that a spoiler? Did you just spoil me? Reading can get you exiled, so probably the other dumb stuff too. Dog crime spoiled. Not a spoiler, but I didn't know about that fact though. Hmm. Hmm. It's in the lore, really? Oh wait, let me see. Oh shit. I already read that. 
Nice, pull me. Oh, yeah, it is. Survive an exile long enough to be transformed by it. In body, if not spirit. Uh, what happens if you become a demon? Do you forget? Do you forget your personality and stuff? Is it kind of like Oaken from Ozama Ranking? <laughs> That's a new book info? Well... You no, know, you just get horns and get bulky ass shoulders and hooves. Oh, okay. Are you asking for spoils? I'm just deducting, okay? Wait, you mean Osama? Osama Ranking? Oh, wait, Okin is not a demon, though. Wait. Guess for you guys, Osama Ranking? Hmm. Just. The book updates every time it sparkles, so. Oh, it's new? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. No shabbery. Um. This one! Alright. The first exile. In the words of Gol Glathanian, the Master General. You know, perhaps the thrice cursed name of Solomur. Okay, I can't read that. <laughs> Solyamur, the Emperor of Sar, the first exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life. Such was the hatred for him and around his country. Yet, we found in Solyamur a man transforming body, spirit, and mind. A man deserving of much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honor now to share with you his deeds. To know the history of the rites. Is it? More! I need more pages. Come on! Okay. Oh! Ladder ring! Okay. One, one, okay, let's go out. Time to play! Ah, I don't like this part! As the darkness falls, you follow your exile stand together, clad in the raiments of the rites. The preparations are set. However, everything is still calm. Soon they grow restless. Oh, wait, 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 The stars 50 centies! Thank you for the super! They have imp plushies? No! Zen, thank you for the super! I hope you have a nice day. Thank you! Uh, it's really good. This eve shall be the accusers. Hello, accusers! Yet burns oh. Once the other is extinguished, shall step closer to freedom. Oh my god, I love you. Now let the rights commence. <laughs> what do you Cool. The stars align and your pyre burns bright. Across from the companions appear several others that clad in your raiments. Your adversaries in the rights. Ron, thank you for the two months membership. Everyone ready? Let's hope so. Be still, we have a visitor. The one who she refers to steps forward. Ooh, more maskies. Espy boy, thank you, Slade Aspire. Oh my god, I haven't played Slade Aspire in a while. You know what I've been playing recently? Hades. <laughs> At last, the Nightwings grace us with their presence. Oh no! Hi, Naked Dash HDXYZ online strips without clothing. Thank you so much for joining us today. But unfortunately, I am also selling my own uh, Niji Sanji business. So you are currently banned. I'm banning you right now because you are tampering my business. Thank you very much. If you guys are interested, please go to Niji Sanji Dash EN dot com slash. Niji, uh, Niji Sanji girls with clothing. That is my next apparel. <laughs> it's 
So besides the catering, the cleaning services, I also host uh, a bunch of uh, websites with girls with clothing on. Like me right now. I'm doing it exactly right now. <laughs> I'm providing you guys with uh, quote unquote entertainment. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Only robes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At last, the Nightwing's grace grace us with our presence. I see that reports of your demise have been exaggerated. After all, even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Nobody moves. Save for the man. Got robe and gold. Who unfastens his mask? Oh, is he gonna be handsome or is he gonna be a dog? Ooh, nice hair. Surprised to see old Lendl again. I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never to see it again after last time. Hi, Lendl. Let's see. He appears he is the parent leader of the Exile Triumvirate. You encountered at the Reach of Gold. Oh, so we know them. Hi. Never had come close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. Okay, that is very Hades too. That is very Hades when someone gets angry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just keep referencing Hades. I just really love that game so much. Now I and the accuser shall repay that affront. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrades. It's it is time. From the shadows, you clutch the book of right and focus on the task on hand. Love, Hades! Love, fire! Hey, keep us show! Come on, it's love! And welcome Begin. to the gym! Come on, okay, keep pressing. Now nice. It begins in earnest. Huh? Jump? Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay. Where is it? Where's the ball? Oh, shit. Okay. I thought they had you there. Oh, uh, dash, that's this bit. No. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh fuck. With you all. I keep pressing. Oh, love that music though. Okay. Okay, what the? F all right, Have brute force. underestimated you? I don't know. Uh, uh, speed uh, for the win. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh dumbass. Okay. Okay. What do I? What do I? Oh, shit. How do I? How do I? Oh, fuck, my love. Two, one... Okay. Here. Oh, you have to hold. You have to hold. Alright. Ah! So close! Hold to charge. Well, cut, cut! Okay. Bitch. I think you could come with me. Okay, so you know what? The big one charge goes here. Um, we, we swap, swap, swap. Okay. Okay. Uh, nice. Okay. Um, no, no, stay there, stay there. Okay. Okay, now. 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 Fuck. Fuck! Okay, stay there, stay there. You big girl, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna. Oh. Okay. Okay. How very fortunate. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm understanding this game now. I'm understanding it. Okay, we're just gonna defend for now. We gotta wait for the re respawn. Okay, where's my respawn though? Okay. Okay. That one almost got through, but not in my clutch. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Do not. Do not pursue. Where's my dog? <laughs> Into the fire! <laughs> no, 
I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accusers! Stand your ground! Let your auras boil in rage! All right. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. Get it angry. We have rattled them. They mean to draw us out. Then we just have to run our circles around them. Hold have you me. any idea what that Lendl did to deserve his exile? Hey. Hmm? I wanna, I wanna use the big girl. Come on, let's go. Come on, it's Liam. Okay. Now we are going to jump. Hold B to fling the orb into your pyre. I'm out. Ah! Oh, oh, you could dunk! No, um, just put it here. Fine. Can't let them have it. Come on, Joe Dariel, you got this. Okay. <laughs> no! Banishment using such tricks. I am the master trickster. Whoa! 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 Ah, you shall not have my heart. You will not my heart. I shall be. All right. Okay. Come on, Islam. Keep running, bitch! Ah! Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> right here is fire! Now end the ceremony! I will! Mr. Logan? Okay. Get out of here! Ah! And it is done! You have prevailed! Ooh. Rejoice! Drosella. Single fleeting victory. Yay! How did I do? Did oh, I do bad? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is that is that a good strategy? I think I'm kind of scared to just <laughs> scared to dunk. <laughs> Noxalas! Ooh! Okay, that was fun. Your deceit may have earned your ho you a hollow victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness. And when next we meet, we will rue one day. Bye, Lendl. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. <laughs> the exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. Ooh. Only <sighs> the enlightened can regain their freedom. Okay. Eating the orb is like top strategy? Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. We have withstood worse than knights than this. Though, few was strange. Okay. Whoa. Woo! Whoa! A mastery? Oh, I see. Can you... Can you dash a little bit faster? Serious sport? You're really sporting him out? Sport? Relentless vigor. After vanishing an adversary, Jodariel instantly recovers her stamina. After using her lunge forward, Jodariel can rush again right away. Uh, I don't know which one. Should, which one should I pick? Maybe this one? Rush? RT to, to rush. Rush is... Rush is dash, right? Double dash? Yeah. Double dash or killing dash. Okay. Maybe see what she could chain into? Double jump or kill recovery. What are the future skills? I don't know. I can't read. Oh, wait. When landing from a jump, stuns the nearby adversaries, making them drop the orb. Saluting her and Judariel deals stone. Banish adversaries by flinging the orb into them. Ooh. Wait, isn't this OP? Wait. 30 long. Banish by... 30% longer. Isn't this OP? If you fling the orb into them? Let's see the size of her orb. This one's good too. Okay, let's uh let's get this one. Spike is good. Okay, yeah. The demon one. scribe bestows his favor. 
No enlightenment for the dog. Press to continue. Okay. I like the dog. Dog is fast. After the rites, the accuser disappeared into the darkness. As you return to the wagon in the night sky, you see a single star and birds brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. But I already passed the orb to her. Oh, yeah. During the right, hold B to fling the orb. Hold B. It's just, I'm kind of scared because... Ooh. Because the thing is, if you fling the orb, people will come into you, right? And once they touch your... Uh, they, they get your aura, they might kill you. That's, that's the thing. Is there someone here who could draw the orb longer? Well, friends, what can I say? The rights are real, and we're in. The getting out of here, club. Next up on the agenda, keep chasing stars until we're free. Conceal Tavidias. Until we are free. Conceal Tavidias. Until we are free. Ah Ooh, ah here, here, sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lendl back there. Anyway, guess we better start packing. As the others go about their business, Hedwin turns to you. Oh, hello. While holding the orb, you don't have defense aura, so if you fling it, you might get your aura back to fight. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Ligaratus. Reader, come walk with me while the stars are still out. Uh, oh, where are we going? You and Hedwin walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have question. Come, ask away. We need you on this. We need you in on this long... Well, I can't read right now. We need you in this for the long haul. Oh, wait. We could ask him a bunch of questions? All right. Time to know more about you. Do we want to be the, the the nosy one? Be like, oh, um, can you tell me how you're exiled? Okay, let's be a nosy reader. <gasps> you're right! It is a date! Yeah! Whoa! I'm hearing whispers! This is so... Hades! Oh my god. This is, uh, this is when you go to the chaos. You can hear the whispers too. Cool. Alright, let's ask why you got exiled, huh? Oh my god, it's so cool. Love it. Oh my god. I'll... If I play this game first... If I game Pyre first... And I go next to Hades... My reaction would probably be like... Oh my god! That's such a Pyre reference! It's just... It's just unfortunate that I play Hades first before Pyre. So I'm just like saying... Oh my god, this is such a Hades reference. <laughs> uh. I, I love, I love it. I, I'm just really bad at playing the game. I do appreciate the auto aim though. I think I had auto aim on, which is good. Helps me, helps me focus. That's the book sound. I know. Okay, let's go. You ask Kevin, what did he get sentenced to? The living in the downside. He maintains eye contact and his smile. Some data. Good question, my friend. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss that and many other things. Make your deal. Read the stars for us again, and I'll tell you about it on the way. Oh no! We got two nosy guys. We need to raise his affection before we ask him. It's like Harvest Moon in Rune Factory. You sense he speak truly as he becomes toward the, fa the fading dark above. Oh, that's very Hades too, the boons. The boons, yes, yes. Oh my god, that is very, very Hades. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Joe Moore, the Dusk Star. How? Oh, what's the completion rate for your pyre? Do you think I could finish this in two sitting or probably not, right? Three? Oh, shoot. That's cool. That's a long way north and west. We'll see if this old wagon's fit for it. He turns to others. How's it going, rookie? Imps fed, wheels clean. Status, Jody? No sign of howlers. Everything is secure. Good. 
Then, get some rest. We're headed to the springs of Jomur. At dawn, we're off. Bye-bye. Continue my journey. Is there anything here? Press Y to check inside. Hey, Mas! Seems to have something. Let's talk to the dog. We find Rookie rummaging in the corner of the black wagon. He's sad, hey, sister! Hey, sister! <laughs> you know what? It's good having somebody else around besides those two. So, come to think of it. There's something I wanted to get to take on. And you have to promise me. You have to promise to tell me honestly. Uh, what you say? Yes, uh... What I mean is... Um... um... He hesitated, trying to find the words. Ah! <sighs> uh, look! I'm trying to say is... Um... He said something serious is troubling him. Okay. He moves in very close. Oh! Is this my dog route? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Does he want me to pet? I will give pets! Come on, tell me you want some pets! Tell me! Making sure no one else is in earshot. Oh! <laughs> what about it? I think it's cool. It's about my mustache. I think I got it. I've been getting some conflicting reports about it. Would you say my mustache that makes it look a bit, you know, unscrupulous? What does that mean? What is unscrupulous? Pet the stash? Hell yeah. Cute stash though. Unscrupulous? Shady? Oh, uh, sussy? Okay. <gasps> Oh shit, you're right. There's S and U and S. Is this where the sus came from? Rescue wishes to know if you think his mustache suits him. I think. Wait, I don't. I want him to love the way he looks. So if he thinks that he likes his mustache, then. Then I like it too. I say... I say you keep the stash. You suggest that Rookie's mustache looks perfectly fine. Your white grains fine at you. Couldn't agree more, sister. I knew straight away that you're a real judge of character. Anyway, got to check the wheels again for mites. See you around. Bye-bye. He bounce off. Off the wagon. One hope for the next ride. Move on. Cool. Cool. We have any uh, anything? Nope. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I love, I love these like glowing particles of the book. Pretty cool. It's very well made. Oh my god. All right, let's keep going. Freaking. Oh my god. Oh not. I love the. Boom. The very Hades too. Let's see. Time to go to Jomuer Valley. Yeeha! Take my wagon to an old town road and we're going to the Jomuer Valley. Take my home. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my god, it's freaking beautiful. It's beautiful. The climate here in Jomer Valley is hot and uncomfortable. On top of that, we have a stowaway. What does it mean? What is a stowaway? I know how to read, but I don't know the meaning. Home? We can go home? She must have latched onto the undercarriage as you cross the ridge. Her manner is odd, though you sense she means no harm. She must have overheard some of your fellow exiles' conversations. Is she gonna be with us? It's not. You need... But say the word, Hedwin. Oh, come on! You can't be serious, Jody. She's just some kid! Who managed to climb aboard our wagon undetected, but still! Do it, Jody. Jadariel approaches a girl and looms over her. Uh-oh, what is she gonna do? Listen to me, girl. We cannot guarantee that we shall get you home, or any one of us. But, at the present, we have room for you, and adequate provisions. You may accompany us for the time. 
Jadaria leaves without a waiting response, presumably to make room of the wagon for your new guest. The stowaway is overjoyed at this. Oh, so cute! So cute! Okay, let me let me bite real quick. I need a few more bites until I finish my kimchi fried rice. I'm almost done. Daughter? So cute. Really? You are so kind. You are most kind to someone you just met, like me. May the eight scribes smile upon you all. <laughs> she claps her hands, bursts into laughter, preserves some sort of dance. Rookie stares at all of this and leans closer to Hedwin. Hey, so, uh, what gives? First the reader, now we're taking her along. What? We gonna make every mic bit and drive if we find now, too? Easy, Rookie. I think he'd want us to bring this one along. Who? Sandalwood? I thought you said he asked we find someone to fit in every type of mask. Who's Sandalwood? Yeah, as I can tell, yours would fit her just fine. Some mysterious informant of Hedwin, Jodariel, and Wookie. Oh, okay. So we, do we work for Sandalwood? I love Sandalwood, though. Sandalwood incense is one of my favorite incense. Kim Smells good. He asked that we use our best judgment. Besides, we send her away, she'll go telling anyone she finds about us. We can't risk that now. So, um, I can come in? It's very hot, and I'm a little thirsty. And a little tired too. Yes, you're welcome in here with us. One question though. What do we call you? Um, well, this is embarrassing, I think. But I don't know for sure. Just back home, they call me lots of names, like for the color of my hair. They made fun of you just cause you got gray hair? Vistalia. That's it. My name, it rhymes with gray. My name, my name, it, oh, it's just, they call me lots of names. Oh god, in a sense the girl is struggling to recollect a certain name she felt beside, best suited her. You think you could help the story girl make peace with her name? Okay. May K Fay Day Say Shay Ray. Your son rather means an A. You go for sure. Let's see. Um. Okay. Which one do I feel? I like the name Fay because Fay is like fairy, you know. Faye is really cute. I think I'll go with Faye. There are more options. Okay, let's see. Oh! Che, nay, nay, nay. Tay. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick this one because, you know, some of my viewers are Filipino and they're gonna be like, Oh my god, she named her Tae! <laughs> so, no, we will not dishonor her name. Okay, we're just gonna name her Faye. I like Faye. I like, really like Faye a lot. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I, I like the Faye because Faye is like fairy, you know? It, it's kind of like cute in a way. And she has like... She has like um, leaves around her as well. Uh, so we're gonna call her Faye. He suggests that the story girl's name is Faye. I love this one. I... Okay, one of the things what I really, really like about... Um... Super Giant Games is the ability for them to... Include you in the world that they make. Uh. They really, really try to make sure that you're invested in the game, and so they try to they try to make like little bits of the game in reference to you. This is what I noticed from playing this game, the little Super Giant games. They try to include you in the narration, in the story. That way, you could invest on the characters, and um, they give you choices. So, like for Hades, in examples, they um, 
you pick like the boons and stuff, and then in response, the gods will like give you things. Uh, also, another thing about Hades is like there are some things that you do per se. Let's say you grab, um, you used, uh, you use a sword or you use like the the shield, right? You use a shield and then. You notice the gods talking about it, like, Oh, you use a shield, that's really nice. Or, or like, um... Really small things, like, um... When you use the... A different equipment, so some gods will say like, Oh yeah, this this is lost, or like, this was used by another god, or this was used by your dad. So I, those little things that are... The small conversations really make you... Invest on the story. Like, every little single thing you do... It... Happens so for Bastion, I guess when you kill a bunch of like, when you break a bunch of things, the narrator will call you out. And um, in Transistor, that was made through like choices for the OVB, like the weather forecast. Um, pretty good, pretty pretty good. And for this one, clearly you have the decision to you know change their names. It's it's just really wonderful. I I like. I like this. I like the. I like the dev. I'm kind of like scared that I'm gonna be like super biased with the dev. <laughs> uh, okay. Vistalia. Okay. Bye. That's it. My name is Faye. My name is Faye. Oh no. Okay. Well, I DC'd, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat real quick. Back? Okay. I'm back? Okay. Sorry, I was eating now. <sighs> I'm back, yo! Two more! Two more bites for my kimchi fried rice and then I'm done eating it. And on top of that, Super Giant Games have fully voice games and um... Fully voice to guide you through. Mm, this is one thing I, no I noticed. Like, you have someone to, like, listen to. Let's say you're not streaming, right? These games are fully voiced. So you you have you don't have to immerse yourself because the game will immerse itself into you with all the narration. And, you know, the voice acting is A+. plus. Then you have, like, music. For me, music is something that is a huge factor in games. That's why I really, like, very... Um, I, I, I like games that has like really good music or composition in it and Hades has that This one is very beautiful as well And you know, I'm a sucker for world, world building too And uh, Hades got a really good world building and this one I mean you could you could see you could literally see Anyway, I should really stop hyping up <laughs> Super giant <laughs> be so sad if I finish this game! Okay. Make not says having a fire voice, imagine recording one line for a name every option. Right. But yeah, you still have like um like the little beats like do like their language and the narration when you talk when you play the the rights, you know, it's still something in there. Okay. Where I am from, they call me Fade Affair. But I guess maybe you don't have to say that part because I didn't really like it. <sighs> your your fellow exiles decided to be Fay along. For now, she almost collapses from exhaustion, so you take her in and show her somewhere she could rest. So cute. Faye joined the group. She's tired but excited. Welcome her aboard. Uh, I will hope they're singing in here because I love your Redis's voice. The black wagon arrives in somewhat peaceful stretch of the Jomur Valley. Her companion wished to hold up there for the night to give Faye and all a little time to rest. 
consider your options. Ooh. Okay, let's check in. Huh? Hi, Faye. Faye seems to be recovering well since you found her. She seems fascinated by everything and everyone in the wagon. Oh, hi, miss. You're the one who knew my name. You guessed it. Right? You did. Thank you for your hospitality. I've just been eating with imps and talking to the wagon. Oh wait, she's in the top? The whole time? How did she get that? This wagon, he and I are at the same age. Almost to the very day. But I am older, by three weeks. So I am giving him a hard time. Wait, what? Can she talk to... Non-living things? What? Little brother, I call him. He's a good wagon, isn't he? He will take us very, very far. My little brother, sure, he pulls my hair at times and I don't like it very much, but he is family. I am very happy to be here with my family. I thought I have lost them all again. I thought I have lost them all. But... Oh, oh, but we stop now, haven't we? Then I should go inside to dance, in case the scribes are watching. Where scribes? Oh, no. Bye, miss. Oh, bye. Okay, I wanna, I wanna check her outfit. Let's see. Oh. How can she talk to living things? Like, non-living things? She powerful? Okay, let's go out. Whee! What do we have here? Cool. We can't... We can't uh, click anything, right? Consider my options. Okay. Oh, there's four. Your fellow exiles are taking a moment to unwind. Jodariel motions for you to join them. Ah! Thank you, Jodi! Best, best get used to your new life here, reader. We seldom get such moments of reprieve. Perhaps some further study of the book shall pass the time. You can join me for a little stroll if you're feeling up to it. Always something to be forage around here. Or you could teach us more of what you know. Prepare us for the next ride. In any case, we do what we can to stay busy. Keeps the scent of isolation well at bay. Phosphobulite, thank you for the super! Is it debatable if face crazy or eliminated? Mm. I don't know. I mean, um, I don't judge. I'm pretty crazy as well, so... Why would I judge someone crazy if I'm also crazy? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. I get to decide. Okay, do I want foraging? Or do you want to study in private? Or do I mentor a companion? Oh, shoot. I can't decide! If I am... Okay. I am the reader. I get to decide whatever. I will go... And forage. Because I'm greedy. Hmm, mentoring is the best option, really? Okay. You sure? I wanna I wanna forage stuff though. Oh, let me stretch real quick. Ah. Ow! Nice. This is a good stretch. Hold on, let me, let me wipe my glasses. Hi! Loudest stretching you ever heard? Why, you want me to make a sexy stretch? <laughs> Was that a stretch? Yeah. You gotta hype yourself up when you gotta stretch, you know? Headphone is. You ever had like wire problems? That's me every day. How many wires do I have in my desk? I have a wire for my headphones, wire for my iPhone, which is the one I'm using, wire for my mouse, wire for my keyboard, wire for my controller, wire for my mic, wire for my monitor, 
wire for the Nintendo Switch. I also have a wire for a video capture. And I also have a wire for my interface. And a wire that is just here. Oh, this is for my ASMR. I just forgot to like fix that up. So many wires. Yeah, how do I fix? Whenever I see like really, really good keyboards, you know? Or not keyboard, like desktop setup and be like, uh, 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 this is my desktop. Uh, uh. And it's all like pink and all clean and shit. And I was like, bullshit, that's not true. You probably had a bunch of mist in there. I, I don't think so. Well, at least mine is not. <laughs> About hiding the mess behind panels. <laughs> <laughs> I know! How about you guys? Can I ask you guys a question? I'm gonna eat real quick before I start clicking on stuff. Can I ask you guys a question? Is your desktop right now or your, your setup, is it clean? Yes? What the fuck? No? Okay, let's see. What do I have in my desk? Oh. Oh, okay. So, I have alcohol, lotion, a bunch of brushes because I didn't clean up my S my ASMR equipment yesterday. Um, and tissue. Wow, that sounded so bad. Trust me, guys, this is for my ASMR. <laughs> this is for my ASMR. Do not judge, okay? Um, I have also um uh, some snackies here. <laughs> I have, <what> is that? <laughs> I have some chocolate covered almonds that I haven't touched. Um, what else? I have my phone. Oh my god. I have some Tylenol pills. Gives me handy, you know. I have a pen. Stream deck. For some reason, I have a refreshing, moist towelette. You know, like the one that comes in packs, the the wet the wet wipes comes in packs. Yeah, I have that. Um, I have my phone with me that I thought I lost yesterday, but it's actually on the washroom and woke everyone up. I have a hairbrush. Um, let's see, I have a tissue paper that smells like alcohol. Probably it's the. Yeah, it's definitely the one I wipe for my ASMR mic. I have my 3DO mic, my Tasca mic. It's all at the one corner of my table. Like all of my ASMR equipment is all over on my table. Um, let's see. I have a Nintendo Switch. A bunch of wires at the back of the Nintendo Switch. I have a screwdriver for some reason. What the fuck? Why do I have a screwdriver? What the? I have a nail polish. Um. Oh, I have a glasses. Uh, like LED cleaner. Yeah. I have a uh, a canister of compressed air as well here. And I got a flute. <laughs> and I also have plastic gloves for some reason. Why do I have a plastic gloves? <laughs> and water. I, I got water. And my mug. There you go. Plastic gloves. Yeah, don't even ask. These are all my ASMR equipment. It's just all at the side. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Oh, I got a bunch of water. Oh, I have the Febreze. I have the Febreze. Um, because I didn't return it back. I should put it back to the washroom. The air freshener. Is there anything that it isn't on your desk? Well, I have a small cabinet of things I put in. Do you want to see what's in my cabinet? Hold on. Oh yeah, it's a recorder, not a flute. Uh, let's see. I got a bunch of Vanguard cards here. Uh, my 1000 mascara ones for some reason. Uh, my gloves from the ha hand cam, the webcam itself. I got a sponge. And I also have one, the one, two, three, four, five. My ten hot sauces, it's here. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, yeah. Bunch of wires. I have.
have a spoon and fork for some reason. What? Do I <laughs> what? Oh, it's it's not like your the metal spoon and fork. It's just like you know when you order something from Uber Eats, they give you like a plastic spoon and fork. It's kind of like. Did you not put the hot sauces in the fridge? Anyway, um, yeah, I also have coffee. That's about it. Pretty average desk, yeah. How about you guys? Do you guys have the same thing as me? I bet you guys have the lotion and the tissue at least. <laughs> Mouse? No? Where do you keep it then? Keyboard, mouse, and water? Really? Wait, where do you keep your lotion and your tissues? In the bed? Stevie, welcome! Enjoy the emotes. Also, here's a robe as well. Welcome to the robe enjoyers. In the washroom? No way. You don't need lotion? I thought you need lotion. What? Okay, last bite. No, you don't. Really? You don't need lotion. Lotion for what? Tissue and coffee on your desk? Wait, what? Do you use coffee? Ew, really? Is that a new thing? But isn't it too hot? Or too cold? What? Is that a new thing? Or you drink it? Oh, you drink it. <laughs> Don't kick shame. <laughs> You drink the coffee and you just have tissue. Okay, wakaru, wakaru. For sneezing, right? Lager! Thank you for the membership. Why would you buy? Why would you? Who would have a lotion at the table? Oh, what did I pick? Oh shit, what did I pick? Oh, I picked. Uh oh. I don't even. What did I pick? I like how you swear the tissues are what you think, but for you, 100% three piece of lotion question. <laughs> Uh, God damn it, to clarify, to drink coffee. Sure, it's okay. Um, You know, we robe enjoyers. We we don't kink shame. It's okay, Fluffy. We accept you even though you do that. It's fine. We're open here, you know? Soda, food, coffee maker, water, salt, pepper, sugar. Are you in your kitchen, Geese? Or <laughs> is your setup the kitchen? What is the lotion used for? The skin! <laughs> you want me to teach you how to use lotion properly? Okay, first thing, you apply it on the skin And then you rub it Up and down Until you know Up and down Vertically Horizontally, circular motion Yeah, any type Okay Not wrong? Yeah Titan bones or dung? Do we wanna... Do we wanna search for dung? Dung is poop, right? You send something of value here? Is there value for poop? Or the titan bones? Source of enlightenment. Oh, titan bones, yeah? Hello, oh shit. Well, sister, had enough of scrounging for one day? Usually there isn't much, but if you ever... Look, you never get. And believe you... Believe you, me, it adds up. And believe you, me, it adds up. Dun dun. Okay, what is this? Grants an exile plus one, <gasps> one thousand enlightenment. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Millie, I'm getting the hose. Hose for what? Hose these nuts. 
Okay, let's continue. So long, big bones. The path leading to further west splits off, and once again, your fellow exile turned the choice of where to go to over you. Faye seems enthusiastic for whichever else you choose. Okay, guys, um. Uh... So we have another path again. The north route across the Jomur Valley passes the remains of the Hive Titan. Or the south route across the Jomur Valley is riddled with barren sun. Barren rock and bone. Then isn't it better to go here instead? Oh. They believe those who travel on this path shall be as swift as the Jomur of the Eight Scribes. They believe that those who travel this path shall be strong as goal of the Eight Scribes. Um, so do we do power or do we do swift? Uh, I don't know. What do you guys? What does the chat think? Yeah. What is my? Let me tickle. Hello. Wake up. Come, 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 chat. Oh, tickle the side. Come, come, come. Let me tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Where do we go? If that's what you want. Oh my God. Birds, go back to sleep. <laughs> Fast. Tickle, 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 tickle. Okay. Fast it is. Gotta go fast. There will be loads of these, so you have to choose yourself. Oh no! Faye is behaving stranger than usual as you traverse the dusty waves of Fall Flat. This was the path that Jomer and Many Mane ran across so many, many times. Can you not feel his presence, him and all his friends, here in the sand and in the air and all about? At first you pay it a little heed, though later you observe your fellow exiles seem to have more of a lightness in their step. Perhaps it was the previous day's rest that it did everyone good. Your companions gain plus one quickness for their next ride. Journey onward! Oh, I love that little animation that the wagon does. It's so cute! Oh, we're here! Oh, bones. From the gist of it, it looks like we are going to the eight stars, right? And each of them has different, um... Mm, are these the remains of the scribes? These are the scribes. I'm gonna... Sh is it? I'm not too sure, but the first one was a dragon and this one is a scorpion. Is there like something that has to... Do with this? Hmm... En route to the spring of Jomer, you hear all about the roving slug market, which appears to be nearby. Rookie insists you take a look after you settle in. Okay. Scribes kill them. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Alright, let's see. Page revealed. The last emperor. Let's go check it out! <laughs> oh. Hi. Edwin. Edwin motions for you to join him. While his manner is easy going as ever, you sense he is searching for the right words for what he's about to say. You ask what I did go to throw you ask what I did to get thrown in here. Figured I tell you. The others know. Oh He's opening up to me. Thank you. I was on the blood border for several years. An outrider. No real rank, but a pretty important job. Whenever the harp swooped in, it was up to me to raise the alarm. Okay, what's a blood border? Northern edge of the commonwealth has a flat and vulnerable response. Okay. Harps is wing rays, like harpies. All right. Wait, are we gonna fight harps in the future? How do we fight them? They fly. Let's cheat. One day, the harps came without warning. No alarm. It was a slaughter. So I heard because I wasn't there. I was. Nesintera. I was one of them. <gasps> You betray the Commonwealth. Why? She? Ooh, a girl? You did it for love? Disgusting. <laughs> she, look, that's a story for another time. The point is, they branded me Hedwin the Deserter before they sent me here. He wanders the downside, searched away to regain his freedom, and turned to his home. Okay. I didn't want to fight. I abandoned my post. My friends, they paid dearly for it. I ended up down here. 
Henry looks at you and he smiles reappears. It's not something I'd like to talk about, as you can tell. But I know you've been wondering, and you deserve to know. I made a promise to you earlier when we first met. That you go free as well if any of us go free. That promise may not carry that much weight, I guess, coming from a deserter. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for hearing me out. There's not much good in here in the downside, but at least the past is behind us. He leaves you here. Consider his words. Aww. He did it for love. This is what happened, guys, when you fall in love. You go in a endless pit. It's all worth it. What was that? Whoa! He's a normie? Oh no. Okay, the last emperor. Did I expect this? How many nations did I scar in the name of Solyammer? How many countries fell before our spears and blades? Such questions matter less to me with every passing victory. Our legions swelled across the land and our dominion grew. The Emperor Solyamur paid all this little heed. He only tended to his personal affairs. Our legions relished, relished, relished the autonomy. We did I know that the Emperor cared nothing for his legions nor his people. He cared only for that which was before him. One day, he learned of such thing as behit his name and vowed to seek it out. Oh, okay. Well. Mm. All right. Can we play with the girl yet? No. To get out, just to be with your love. I'm not even sure if that's worth it. But he did it out of love. Then we have to accept it. Oh God. Okay. Hey guys, hey, how's it going? Mr. Green Tail has been a while and all that. Hey Ron, how's it going? Hey, how come you set up a shop all the way out here? Isn't this a little out of the way? Oh well, I say, you guys, you ain't my only, my only customers. You see, Dad and I, we know this business pretty good. We've been looking around the block and stuff. As Ron keeps battering, Ricky signals you in a furtive way. Here's the deal, sister. Got an informant says there's something here connected to this rights business. See if you could spot it. Should be able to pawn some of our stuff to make the trade. And don't even worry about Falcon Ron. Who's Falcon Ron? Oh, his name is Falcon Ron! Traveling sales creature and proprietor of Downside Slug Market. So, anyways, you got something you got for me or what? The plain parcel you got there could take it off your paws if you want. Okay, let's see. What is he doing on my ears? Is this like what my ASMR sounds like? This is what I sound like. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh shit, that's when I laugh. <laughs> Chat, don't mute when you laugh. Me. <laughs> you could click on him and stop his mumbling if you want. No, I like it. It's ASMR. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Okay, what, he, what does he have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just like your other boys. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Okay, okay. <laughs> Can't focus! Moon crest! <laughs> the difference is he's a goblin, I'm a gremlin. Is it not the same thing? Ash and coal. At the time of the riot, bearers fire automatically gains plus seven. I didn't understand what it means. Um, curf. <laughs> Stop! Geese, thank you for the soup. Grandma, it's 
Um, well, carrying the orb, the bear moves faster than usual. I want this one. It's kind of expensive though. I want this. Cat! Drag the plane. Yeah? Well, you know, I'll take it, Mr. Greentail. Though you have, you drive a pretty hard bargain. Now nah, you gotta take something off my hands here, or what? Drag moon? Is this worth it? Oh. Okay. okay. I want this one. That's one of a kind thing you got there. You know, you just got yourself a real good deal from me as well. So thanks. Switch the roster to equip the delicious. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Apparently, any one of us bozos can get a little edge out of that thing. Train the rights, I mean. Just a question of you who gets to try it out. Each of your fellow exiles have a talisman equip. Decide who shall wield it. Alright. He's <laughs> still at my ears! He's still at my ears! <laughs> okay. Let's see, banish banana. Um, okay, I really like. <laughs> Put this one here. No, I'm gonna use it for the moon girl. All right. Kind of nice. Dad over here, his feet, you know. We've been having some trouble with his feet, getting real something or other from those hooving around, and so you see. Wait, this is Dad? Oh! I didn't even notice! I thought it was like a snail! Oh my god! It wasn't- Oh my god, I'm so dumb! I thought- I really thought it was just like a, an animal- Oh, it's his dad, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Falcon, I didn't notice your dad was, um... Uh, I thought it was just like a ride. Sheesh. Mm. Rocky indicates to you now will be a good time to depart. Okay, let's go. Bye-bye. to fly. See you, Mr. Greentail, and your friend there, too. I like her. She seems really nice, you know. Oh. Trying to flirt with me? Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm desperate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you have anything here? Yeah, make, make a fan fiction. If Anna has a Connor, then I have Falcon Ron. This is a sound that the chat will make when Millie doing an ASMR stream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I haven't done my, my waiting room yet. The thing about making an ASMR waiting room is I have to pick an art that is very say so. And uh, most of my fan art are not say so. So if you're an artist out there and if you want me to use <laughs> an ASMR stream a thumbnail art, can you can you draw me as a say so girl please? I don't have any of those, you know. Sometimes it's just me laughing. Most of my art is just me laughing. I need some cute girl, you know, that way I could deceive people. When they first come to my stream, they're gonna be like, oh wow, she's so say so. Oh she does this whisper in my ear and and be cute. And then when I just <laughs> you would check my other stream, it's gonna be like, oh my god, what the fuck? Unsubscribe, unlike. And so... <sighs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> Laughing say so? You want me to laugh like my ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even laugh. I don't know. I just tried to laugh quietly. And my ASMR. Imagine if I laugh really loud like my usual laughing. I love my ASMR. I think it's gonna... <laughs> be like, what the fuck? As you complete the preparations for the rites to commence, you notice Faye approaching. Hi, Faye. <gasps> ah, she's so cute! Oh, she's gonna participate! You notice too that she's wearing your companion's robe. Oh, oh, she's gonna try! We can go home? Faye, I thought I made myself quite clear you're not the one to touch these robes. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Dario. I just thought maybe you were being funny at the time. Oh, why would she be funny? Does she look. Does she look like she's laughing, Faye? Unbelievable. Hey, uh, something's happening in the sky. I think we're up. Um, looking at 
the stars We gonna play some basketball Fun time During the rides, avoid the hours of your adversaries Okay, I already forgot Raider. the controls what Hello! brings you to the spring of Jomia? I want to listen to your Why very hot narrator voice. Stars. No, it's Although you. Although it seems that your triumvirate now numbers four exiles, not the expected three. Sorry. The rules of the rights were not created for you to besmirch. I just want to say I love your voice so much. Prepare now to confront the fate. I love you. They still honor the traditions of the scribes and surely have been longing for this chance. But first, you have a choice to make. I want you. I want you to narrate my life story. Please. <laughs> Let me be friends with you. <laughs> uh, oh, who is this? Oh, that is our boy. The skies burn bright once more as your next adversaries in the rights approach. Apparently, there is a bent old cur who regards you with a form of <gasps> It's a dog! A no dog! Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy? Yes, you are. You are the best boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The best boy. The good boy. Hold on. Good boy. Very good boy. Oh. Hi. Arisan is an intense young man. I hail you, excels of night wings. And I'm grateful that you chose grace with your presence once again. I am called Dalhurt Oldheart, and this is my son, Armor. Oh. Son? Son? Is an honorable old bird bent on upholding the sacred traditions of the rites with his son. Very protect. Hey. Okay. We shall not judge. We shall not judge. Not tandem, father. Rule of the robe. Never judge anyone. <laughs> we need to not greet them, father. We shall face you in the field this night. A made of victor's power burn eternal. But first, we offer you a good token of fate. Oh shit, I, I skipped. Oh, what does he say? Oh, he approaches you with something in his paw. Oh, what a good doggo! He sends his motives are sincere as he hands you a small talisman. Grinds the bear to quickness. Cool, thank you! Appreciate it. What a good dog. That girl was very kind. Very son. He was so caring, wasn't he? Shela. When can I can when can we start? I want to help you beat them. We need three of us exactly con to conduct a right. Well we got four now, besides the reader. This ought to be her call. If someone has to sigh this time, I volunteer. Now volunteering, chum! It ought to be the reader's call, remember? Very well then, reader. Who shall it be? Henceforth, you shall choose three exiles to conduct each right. All right, let's go. The right shall begin forthwith. I love you, Logan. I just want to know that you made me play more into the super giant games because of your voice. And I will love you forever. All right, let's go. Okay, which one should we pick? Shall we try her? How do we change them? Let me change the freaking. Oh, here. Bio. She's a young vagabond girl with an odd manner. An unshakable sense of curiosity. Charles, her aura in a straight line. Plants her feet, jumps into advocate aura. I want to try her. Sudden burst of speed after a moment. Savage. Simple folk all strives for being def for their deficiency or differences, even prior for the sentencing. She appears to be a vagabond who has wandered the downside for some time and has managed to get by. Her simple and sincere demeanor, demeanor suggests she was likely shunned in the Commonwealth and would have been considered savage by standards there. She seems unusually interested in the legends of the eight scribes. Cool. Okay. Um. 
let's try her. Let's try her. Choose her. Oh. No talisman? Oh, okay. Here we go. Gonna add her quickness there. Choose her. Oh, me? Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Because I think the scribes do too. Alright. Well, let's pick which one. Well, you know... Jotarian is really big. And she's also enlightened. But I barely use her. I'll definitely pick the doggy because she's really fast. Okay. Rookie, you're in. Rookie. Rookie. You don't have to tell me twice, sister. Okay. Um, last one. Should we get Hedwin or Jodario? Um. Love that music, doll. She is a good goalie. Okay, let's do this to that. Let's do that. Oh, the damage are based on size, for real. Joe Dario. As you will. Okay, let's go. Oh, I forgot how to use this. this. I've. Done. What? Sorry, Logan. Let me just let let, let me hear them talk. <laughs> Oh god, I already forgot. I forgot about the basketball part. I already forgot the mechanics. I just want to listen to the story. Hey, I'll have another chances. I think you did the right thing. Oh, I'm sorry, Hedwin! Uh, be a bench right now. Nightwing, is, I trust you are all well prepared for these old eyes to see. Yet to see the rites that shall be commencing momentarily. Are you quite ready too, my son? It's Praje, father. I hope so, Father. Here. Now. Let me show you. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, that was fast! No! Where were you? All my banished. All banished. Why can one watch what she rush? Flung with force of will. Flung at the force of will. Look forth, my son. The waters of Jomir many main brings blessing unto the eve. Perhaps our chance has come to last. Hold to sprint for her? Okay. We need more blessings to prevail against them, father. Please, keep fighting. Hold down to sprint. Okay. Collect moon drops. Okay, is that an objective? No! Fucking dog! Okay, um, you know what? Wings adversaries gained an edge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. It was dangerously close. It was dangerous. Oh, he's actually in a rating. Flames of freedom. Shoo! The All right. The Nightwing's pyre burns brighter for now. A stroke of luck is all. No, 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 no. Pass, pass. Pass. Oh, fuck me. A shameful Oh, outcome. God. Okay, I messed up that one. Okay. Get that. Wait for it. Defend. 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 Oh, no, no, no. We can jump. Rush, rush. Rush. Jump. Jump. Bitch. Bitch. Three night wings. Poof. Okay. Okay. We got this. Another banishment. Nice. the orb into the flame. Thank you. Okay. Let's get that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Okay. Let him, let him come here. Let him come here. Oh, shit, he caught him! Oh, fuck! Damn it. Uh, oh, fuck me. I, why did I press that? Uh-oh. 
Just kidding. Haha. Oh, here. Dalbert dispatched with ease. They plunged into the pyre. I don't know what I'm having. It looks fun. It is super fun. It's just I have to. Okay. Where's the duck? Huh. Not. Not this time. Gonna run. Gonna run. Gonna run. Gonna run. Gonna run. Dog time! Dog! Alright! We're in! Ended. Okay, we're just gonna go here, block this one here. Ha, huh, nice try. Okay. Stay here. And then, um, swap here. Okay, we dash. Easy. It is done! The uh, wings prevail. We prevail! It was a glorious performance. Rostalis! What is it again? Oh my Perhaps god, I love you that. You shan't be quite so fortunate next time. Sotava? No Salis? No Salis. Oh, so then we did it, didn't we? Oh my god, she's really good. Faye is really good. You ha you deserve a head pat. Tamal. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Braje. Alas. That's so undoing. We set back for the family we confronted. Keep in mind you can switch characters even when you don't have the orb. You'll need that for strategies later on when the game gets harder. You can also dodge auras by jumping. Oh, how do I ju jump again? I forgot. B. Oh, the mechanic is still kind of easy, like difficult for me. <laughs> Noxalas means night wings. Oh, I see. Cholaresku, Noxalas. Excels of the night wings. He's a good dog. He's a good cur. The dawn is yours, and you may earn your freedom. But father, the dawn might be in hours. We failed, and I have failed you. Is he the reader in their um group? Nonsense. We are the fate. We do what is ordained, and nothing else. What is a fate? Honorable, triumvirate, determined to uphold the traditions of the rites. Ah, oh, okay. Now, let us go, my son, for I am weary once again. Oh. There is much Good dog. to learn from this experience. Dun, 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 dun. It seems the exiled rookie, rookie has opened up his eyes a bit. Very good mustache, rookie. See that, chums? The old rookie Greentail's got some bite in him yet. Cool. All right, let's, let's see. Rookie can jump the second time we're airborne. Rookie does another five plunging in adversary spell. Plunging. Five? Additional five what? Five what? What is this? What is the the fire? Point? Glory? Oh. Damage to the pirate's HP. Okay. Dunk. Is it only dunking or if I jump in? Plunging is only running in damage. Oh, okay, okay. Stop. Oh, here. Oh, cool. Damage for the pyre. Aura size. Perfect room banishment. Jump the second. I can't. I don't even know how to jump. I keep pressing A automatically. Okay, I said this one. A blessing from the Alpha Chief himself. Okay, let's continue. Until the stars align. Until the stars align. And we shall meet again on the next right. Um, hello? Excuse me? I mean, would you excuse me for a moment, do you think? Setame Frunka. You. You're one of them. What do you want? Father needs me. Sala hello, Shianas. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I forgot what I was going to say. I'm so embarrassed. I. What's the matter with you? It is against the rights for us to even speak like this. Um, I didn't know that. I don't think... No one said anything like that to me. But then, all this, it's very new to me. And so, I thought, maybe... You cannot be serious. Yes, I mean, I like to laugh. I like to laugh a lot. And you... How about you? This is a Nightwing's drink. Father told me not to speak with any of you. 
Let's just... Ugh. Are we gonna be allies? Yeah? Come. Come join the dark side. I mean, the Nightwings. We love robes here. I have to go. Vistalia. Wait! Almer, wait! I think that was your name. Was that even your name? Beautiful son of Dallard Old Heart. Protective of her father. Uh, wait. Bye bye. We'll probably meet again later on. Switch to a different difficulty. Okay, when things get rough, we have to, like, just change the difficulty. Yeah! We got our second right! As you return to the wagon after overcoming the fate, you notice Jodariel turns up and frown. Where did he go? Who? Wait, the sleeping guy? The Mistral. He's gone. Who's the Mistral? Me? You see, it's true. Wait, who's the Mistral? There's no trace of the lone Mistral, who had been lying in the corner of the wagon all this time. Oh, oh the one, the, the, the character there. To join the others and search for him outside. Oh, the... Your fellow exiles have revealed nothing to you of the lone Mistral or how they found him. Though you sense their concern as they scarred the vicinity for him. The Mistral! Where are you? Well, worry about the Mistral, my friend. You worry about the stars. Whenever they guide us, we're going. Gaze upon the sparse once more. Uh, I only see the chat. Hi, chat. There you go. We're going to the stars. Where are we going next? I don't see anything. Where are we going? That bright one? Hmm. Here. Cool. Help. Help. Boom. The midnight star burns bright over the standing stones at the edge of the flag flagging hands. Let's go. Ding. Oh! Damn. Skeleton. Everyone, we're headed back east, all the way across the valley. Towards the Karen of Halb, then. That's right, we have to risk it. What if the minstrel guy doesn't turn up by then? We shall find him. On this night or another. Bye bye. What's the Mistral anyway? Is he important? They continue to search for some time. However, the Ministrel is nowhere to be found. Okay, someone wants to talk to me. Hi, Hedwin. After vanquishing the fate in a decisive victory last night, you find Hedwin off in his own. He says he wants to talk to you about the decision to exclude him from like, the conducting a fight. <gasps> oh no, he's gonna call me out? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, was he sad that I didn't think him? Oh no, Hedrin, I'm so sorry. I just, I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. You guys are all wonderful in your own way. I'm, I'm just so sorry. I, 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 what do we say? What do we say? Uh, I guess we just have tough choices to make before this is all over, my friend. Just been thinking about that. I'm glad you let the others go instead of me during the ride. I mean that. All the more since we succeed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't really mean to. I, I, I just wanted to try the moon girl. Uh, I didn't know you're going to be really sad that I picked them. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's more intense. Participating in the ride or just watching from the sidelines. Anyway... Thank you for checking in. I'm off to go and make sure we're ready to move. Is he okay about it? Uh, uh, does he not? I hope he doesn't. He doesn't feel bad that he's getting benched out. You know. You know. I know. I I play a lot of games in my life, living here on Earth. <laughs> Most selfless guy. Don't feel bad. Okay, Vante. I will trust you. And, um... I guess... Uh, I guess it's a story time, but in my country... Or my old country. Because I don't live there anymore. When you participate in sports, you get co-curricular grade... Um, co-curricular points in your... Um... In your marks. Like, co-curricular grades. So, you have a co-curricular one, which are like all your... Your subjects. And you have co-curricular, which adds like a bonus. 
to your final grades, right? And co-curricular, you get it through like activities that happens in your school. So like Founders Day or um, I don't know, Nutrition Month and stuff like that. If you participate, you do get like points and so. It's really small, but you know, some people like it to, to increase the grades. And one of them is usually intramurals, which is you play a bunch of sports. And if you do get some winning, if your coach is like your teacher in that, they kind of like give you an extra points and stuff. I don't know how it works. So basically, I just participated in a bunch of games. But I do not actually play the games itself. I get benched out. <laughs> I'm a sub. So I still got the points. I didn't play any games. And for me, that is a win-win situation. <laughs> I don't think I ever had a time I had to participate in an actual game. I'm always benched out. And you know what? That's fine. Sitting and being benched out is a good thing. At least for me, you know? That's my logic. Less effort, the better. Oh, let me grab water. Ah, it is so heavy. My water is so heavy. Winning literally by doing nothing, exactly. I think I remember, I, I, I benched for basketball, for volleyball, for table tennis, and for chess. I actually played chess. Yes, I did play chess. I play chess, but I'm only like... There's only like three girls that are playing chess. Uh... I don't know how to, I know the basic of chess, but I'm not good at it. I'm not really good at it. So there's only three girls, so they're separate. So there's male chess and a female chess. There's only three girls to participate for the male chess, female chess. And you know what? The three of us were like, you know... Let's just do a junkin and see which one wins. So we did the best of three junkin and then I lost. So um, the first placer got for I think I got third place because I lost all two of them. <laughs> But you know, third place is still a third place. I'll take it. <laughs> I didn't participate exactly. Good stuff. Third place is still good. Yeah, exactly. I still won. The only time I participated, it's not even chess that we played, it's a Duncan Pom. Duncan Pot! Okay, let's continue. Ah, Hedwin, don't worry, next time I'll, I'll let you join. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I skipped the text part? Wait, did I skip? There. Did I miss anything? Okay, let's uh, continue. There's still no sign of the lone mistrail, although Jodariel tracks the potential signs of movement east, the same way you are headed. You consider where to search for him. Winning third place into three people. What is it? At least I have third place, okay? <laughs> Yo, man, I don't think... I don't think I ever... won anything in my life. But... That's just me? Does that make sense? I'm winning right now. Generally. <laughs> but I don't think I any won... I don't think I won any achievements... As a kid. Um, I'm more like a like a jack of all trades, master of none kind of girl. Um, yeah, I, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, I don't think I, I want anything. Hmm. But you know, done. That's okay. That's fine. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> Just got a vibe, you know. Achievement, uh, yeah, I wanna, I want myself. I'm the, I'm the trophy, you know. <laughs> uh, you want us? Oh, I want the chat. Ah, you guys. 
Blue Hive, missing Mr. Okanovan chicken route opposed to the one you took. Oh, we're going back again? Oh, okay. Same route still. I want your chat's heart? Ooh, hold on. What? Really? Let me let me give you a cross. Thank you. Appreciate appre appreciate I appreciate that you guys... I want your heart, but why? Why give me your heart when you could give me your body? Okay, that sounded wrong. <laughs> give me your mind instead. There you go. <laughs> That's what I meant. Give me your mind. Give me your mind, not your body. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, what I meant is give me your intelligence because you guys are smart. One of these days, I'm gonna make a special stream. And I'm just gonna watch you guys play an IQ test. Sheesh! Okay. Well, where should we go? Fall flat or glue hive? Let's go to the glue hive. Yeah, I wanna be smarter, you know? I was thinking... Like... If I combine my negative three intelligence and I combine your intelligence, wouldn't that make me omnipotent then? But if we battle against other people though, are we gonna be smarter? How about if we do like a like a streamer and chat versus streamer and chat? I, I feel like we're still going to lose. Right? That's not how it works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we'll win against... We'll win against Enna, maybe? Because <laughs> her chat's kind of horny. I don't know. <laughs> is, is that mean? <laughs> uh. Chaz like a streamer. Maybe that's a mean thing to say. Sorry, Alo Alo peeps. If anyone's an Alo peep here, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you for the two months. Exo Nigiri man. Gosh, she's worth smart. I know you guys are pretty smart in my in my dictionary. Some of you guys know how to code. No, I, I can't code. You guys have a different language than me. You need to teach me how to code. Most of you guys are like. What do you call yourselves? Coderist? <laughs> oh, mistake? Oh, no. Oh, mistake? I, I, maybe mistake? Hmm, mistake might be... No... I think... I, I'm, I think I'm confident I could beat a mistake. Programmers? <laughs> Hackermans? Uh... Let's see... I, I don't know. Can I... Can we beat Aloe Peeps? I... I think we could. Um, Pentomo, I think we could. Mm, Phantomos? Maybe not. Dragoons? Definitely not. Um, what else? Familira? It depends. It depends which time of day. Rose buds is too strong as well. Um, what else? Real guards. Real guards are pretty smart too. Hmm. What else? <laughs> Rose buds are full. Uh, how about pomodachis? I think pomodachis are strong. Um. Well, who, who else? Uh, real guards, we got it. Rosebud, uh, Etheria, honeys, honeys, they're kind of like strong too. Um, um, uh, okay, what else? Mistakes, I think we could be mistakes. Quildren, <gasps> it depends which category for quildrens. I think we could beat them in some way, but we might lose on some. Kindred. Kindred's too strong. 
we'll it, if it's like speed speed kind of competition, we'll we'll lose right away. Kindred's really strong. I don't think smart wise they're probably strong as smart wise dude. You know the bigger the bigger the the fan base, the more IQ they have. You know, doesn't make sense. <laughs> Pentomos are terrifyingly strong, really. Who are we beating up? No, I'm just thinking a scenario of competitions where all of the the fan bases will be in like a friendly competition. <laughs> I might be at the bottom. <laughs> um, what else? Um, Aloe peeps are scary. Why? Mature kindred are full smart adult. Uh. Niji fan court tournaments, battle royale. Ah, uh, honestly, I have confidence that we could win some, some of them, but I don't think definitely there are some fan base that I don't think we could win against. You know, we're we're the bottoms. You know what they say? If you're at the bottom, you could only go higher and top. Don't mind that. Okay, as you travel through the barren waste of Glue Hive, Headwind seems to be more ill, more ill at ease than usual. There's no sign of the missing minstrel. Sorry about this, Jody. I had a hunch we must have come this way. Would that our would that our hunters could be more dependable? But do not fear, we shall find him yet. Sounds like a hunch to me. More of a promise. You pick bits and pieces of ministerial significance of your fellow exiles. He was there when they first discovered the black wagon, but they refused to say much more for now. Uh oh. Oh, we tried. I I believe uh, I believe that the family are a dedicated fan base. Okay. I have full trust in you guys. We may not beat some of the uh, the fan bases, but you know what? At the end of the day, I could imagine ourselves being happy in the position that where we are. And I could imagine a scenario where every one of us will dance on the fire with our favorite robes. And we're gonna dance around that, do a circle of fire, and probably summon something that we did not expect to summon. But you know what? We're thankful. <laughs> uh, we might uh, summon something, but... But that's what families are for, you know? <laughs> They'll be fun and cool. Yeah, I, I really think that no matter what rank we did for if we do like a like a friendly competition with all the fan bases, I think we'll be happy no matter what rank we do and we're just gonna be happy and uh, I don't know, you guys are gonna start making out with yourselves again. Oh fuck. I totally forgot about making out. You guys would you guys function then? Would you? I I just feel like when you guys do on a com a tournament or a competition, we'll just like stop whatever you're doing and start making out. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we should be at the bottom at this point. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Like streamer, like chat. Okay, let's go. We're good at making out. Oh. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Stop the wagon. What? How come? Because of her. Oh, what's coming? They're coming. They're coming for us. We have to be ready. We have to. Does she mean I... F Does she mean what I think she means? Whoa. Who's coming? I believe so. Who's coming? Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare a wagon for whatever's out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of the source of your concern. Okay. What is coming? I'm scared. Nani? 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 Kissing competition. We probably win, yeah. Okay. Should we do anything here? None. Okay. I think let's just go prepare for the night. Who's coming? I hear whispers. They are coming for us. They fear the scribes. They fear the scribes. I know they do. What is she talking about? What's going on? Howlers. Lots of them. Then what are we gonna do? They fear the scribes. Calm yourselves, Faye. Bop 
happy music, let's go! We shall give them a reason to fear us as well. Boom, 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 let's go! Oh, the BGM! Sounds good! We'll use the rhyment? Rhy we'll use the rhyment in the books. Indeed. One of us can draw them out under the reader's watch. It shall be just like one of those rites. Edwin turns to me. Uh, 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 me? Are we gonna fight? It seems we need your help in this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. Oh, oh, okay, I'm going. I'll do it, miss. Please, you have to let me. And the scribes, they will protect me. I know they will. Jadarial exchanges looks with he Hedwin. Each of them nods at you as if you signal their approval. Prepare for them. I'm gonna find the howlers. Toggle aim assist and options menu if you wish to make it easier to Arakas or Avenger. Okay. Doggies! Doggies! That howling sound. It means. It means. They're here! Oh, by the scribes! They're here! Bum, 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 bum. Ah! So cute! Oh, what? Wait, what? Find off the howling. Release B for power cast. Banish the Howler using power casting. Cool. Woo! No! Someone went in! Oh, fighting Howlers. They look like imps. Maybe we should use them as a wagon. Just a thought of it. I like free labor. Oh! More, I think. There's many more? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Beast. Huh? Just then, Faye spots something creeping toward her. <gasps> Whoa! What? Wow. Ah! Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. Ferocious <gasps> creature. While holding B, release or flash of power, blah 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 blah. blah. Bay. The howling subsides as your fellow exiles scramble to check out on Faye. You find her in one piece along with unfamiliar little face. Cute. Cute! Skee! <laughs> Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? <laughs> you sense a depth of experience in this creature, at least judging by Drive Imp standards. In fact, you feel a connection to him. If you concentrate, perhaps you could derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. Okay, what does it mean? The drive him seems to be both excited and frustrating by something. Interact to understand him. Oh. Hello! Kawaii! The 
The drive aim seemed satisfied, but having gotten through you and you explained to your companions what little you have learned of them so far. One argues against letting the creature come along inside the wagon. The other drive imp stare at him with something like reverence. <gasps> Is he an imp god? The drive imp junkie seems to know his way around. Welcome him aboard. Welcome to our humble abode. Fair scribe catcher. The mantle of sticks Fay insists in hanging on her rafter. She believes it brings good luck and fortune. Cool. You can see the little imp has made himself home. Cute. He rushes up to you. Oh my god, it's so cute. Can we buy a plushie of that? You know, I'm really sad because I didn't manage to pre-order Zag Nando. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about it. So I don't think I'll be having a Zag. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully, someone will resell them. Or he gets like a. 2.0, maybe. Someday. Someday I'll get a Zagnendo. Okay. Click on it. Press X. Korohom. Oh, what are you doing? Stop messing up the dragon! Sheesh! Kri kri ki! Kri ki 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 ki! He bounced off towards his breath into settlement wagons rafters. Okay. Cool! Keeps missing the text? Oh! <gasps> Wait! What happened? I didn't, I didn't read. I didn't read. I couldn't read. What did he say? <laughs> It can read the text to understand. <gasps> oh, I'm dumb. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't notice that. Goodbye. What did he say, though? What did he say? <laughs> what, do I, what did he say? Minus one int. I, I was just having so much fun listening to the, the, the sound. Top right, if you haven't looked up. Top right. He likes the state of the wagon. Glad Howlers didn't mess it up. He has no love for Howlers despite being in the same race. Oh, okay. Continue. All right, where are we going? Oh, this one is it has a flick sand. An arid southern pass with the ominous cairn of Hub. Your new imp seems insistent that you take this path bearing east. Okay. Look at our wagon go. Hedwin orders the wagon to halt somewhere in the stark badlands of the Jomer Valley. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches. Arms spread wide, although a hat and a cloak conceal the figure's features. Is that chat? <laughs> hat? Hat lover? Cloak? Chat, are you in the game? <laughs> then, uh, the imp rushes out towards whomever it is. Greek! The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching in almost almost joyous way. Okay. <gasps> oh, chat! Damn, you look like this? Hat lover, check. Robes, check. <laughs> oh, the lone minstrel. Is this the one he's looking for? Shiryu, thank you for the super. I already said it a couple of times. I'm not dumb. I'm really smart. Oh! What you're calling dumbness is impatience. Oh, thank you. Keep complimenting me more. Keep telling me I'm smart. You know what they say? You know what placebo effect is? If you if the chat keeps telling me that I'm smart, they'll probably smarter. You know. <laughs> Uh, 
You know, you know that um uh, one of one of the the artists I follow on Twitter, I think is he, uh, her name is Guda. See, he made this meme about Lazulite. You know, I I I, I could f I'll try to find it by something about like um, how to cope or something. And the first the first word is like gaslight yourself. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just um. If I'm gonna gaslight myself thinking that I'm smart, you know? <laughs> Tezo! Oh. oh, how do we voice it? Tezo, it, it, it's good to see you. And you found the others. Faster than expected. Is this the one we were trying to find? I don't think that's him, though. The imp called Tezo appears very pleased. His name is Tezo! Cute! The lone minstrel turned towards the rest of you. Hello, we have not met. But I know who you are, or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think you maybe you have. Hello indeed. You had us worried there when you took off. Oh, he was sleeping the whole time. Oh. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the Nightwings have returned. Your client? Hi, my client. Sandalwood. He's your point of contact, as I understand. He did not find his wagon by mistake. So, what now? You continue down the path. That's why I'm here. Whenever we meet my client, he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure that I have shall not interfere. But, I mean to accompany you. Would that be alright? Hedwin and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, Mistril. You got a name? Sometimes... I am sometimes called Tar Tarik? Tarik? Like, the like League of Legends? <laughs> Coming musician seems to be connected. <gasps> Is he gonna sing for us? Okay, here is the formula of a Super Giants game. Number one, it has a dog. Number two, it has a musician. Number three, it has a really cool narrator. And number four, it has beautiful music. Number five, it has a good background. Number six, good story building. There you go. I am sometimes called Tarek. It's a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. The Lawn Minister returns to the Black Wagon with your fellow exiles. Welcome to the party! Finally, we get to meet! Wait... Time to fight! Look at this big bone over here. Bone man! Spooky, scary skeletons and shiver down my spire. Cairn of Halb is a foreboding sight. Here's the next right. It's soon to be commenced! Ah! Are you asking me out for a date? Okay! Okay, I won't budge. Reader, do you have a moment? Once we're settled on the grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon, at your leisure. Okay, let's go. Oh, what is this? White loot! The minister Tarek musical instrument which he chronicles deeds for song. Oh. Using it, may hear glimpses of your past experience across the downside. Cool! <gasps> More music? Okay, I really like the... No, not that one. I like the other one. This one. Wow, that sounds very Genshin. Genshin Impact. That's it. More listening. Night Howlers. Glorious tradition. So good! All the music's so good. Um... What's the music earlier? The one with the... With the Howlers. I really like that one. Oh, we can find this one. Ah! Herald for Flutterfly. Diesel's team. 
Oh. Is there any call to howlers here? Is this the one? Dalbert, Elmer, and the Fate. Is this the one? The one we were fighting? I like this one. Okay, let's pick the one. No! What's the point of me listening to it then? The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. His very steel, not alike when he was sleeping. Whether I shall keep this brief, as shortly as you have a right, you must conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rights, which means that you may know something of my nature. On the contrary, you know what that means. And soon he senses this. Yeah, you think I read everything in the book? No! When I pick a book, I just read the back cover, see the summary, and know if it's a, a book for me or not. Forgive me, I spoke too soon. Sufais, it, I have served the Nightwings for some time. Manual? What is that? The paper that they give whenever you get a new thing? I don't read that. Why would I? Hands on is better. You learn from experience! <laughs> Conduct your rights with glory, and you shall achieve what you should seek. The lone minstrel nods farewell to you and steps away. Bye bye. What did he say? That's it? Did he just. What? Did he just like talk to me and be like, uh, did you. Do you know how to read? Did you read anything? And then he just left away. Okay. Well, what is it? This one. The rope collar. Okay, let's, let's read the rope collar. The rope collar. I knew it was a fool's errand. Oh, is he... is this him? Master General? No! I knew it was a fool's errand, but my liege, he would not listen. He instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly fallen from the heavens in the reaches of the downside. He would be a living legend if only he could grasp it, whispered in his ear that the Kaelmer rope collar his elder and his most trusted eye, Aid. With that, I slew that man myself. His was a simple yet brilliant ruse to draw the Emperor farther from still his responsibilities and toward his greed. Thus, did the Emperor begin an expedition to the Forsaken Lands. He insisted that he go himself. Oh. And that's that's important. That that ball is really that important. Oh, uh, that's that's how we, we survive, I guess. Um, do we have anything to sell? Hi, Falcon. Oh, uh, hey guys. Fancy running into the side of the sand. So, what can I do for you? Uh, uh run. I can make this way all the way ahead of us. Uh, come on now, Mr. Greentail. I can't just give up my business secrets, am I right? What I can do, though, seeing as you've been such a good customer and all, is provide for you a simple, a little something something you might like. Here, check this out. Seeing that you bought Mooncrest Stinger from me last time, why, I'm thinking you could use this. And I got more if you want. Oh, what is that? Stardust? Uh, thank you. Thank you. That looks very sus. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> we appreciate. Interact with Ron to quiet him down. Oh, no, I want him talking. Let him laugh on my other ear. Um, oh, yeah, money. Cool. Well, I want to save money for this one. Oh, a rank of the talisman? <gasps> it's called talisman! Cool. Well, see you around, guys. Goodbye. Bye, Ron. Ah! Okay. Let me stretch. Oh. Ah! Oh. It's okay if I just stand a little bit to just stretch my legs. It's like, I'm just like really afraid from what happened yesterday. Let me, let me stretch real quick. I shall...
I saw a bunch of funny videos on YouTube that whenever they stretch, they fart. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Sound like you're dying when you're trying to stretch? Why? You want me to sound sexy? No. The only time you will find me being sexy is never. Okay? <laughs> Memberships. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> Can you give us an example? Do, do you think I know how to be sexy, huh? I can't. My body is not suited to be sexy. You guys don't even like it when I add boobs on my my body, you know? <sighs> okay, let's 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 go. Water too. You have boobas? How many times do I have to show you guys my badanka dunks? Is it the daily booba? Okay, here. here. Da daily booba. Ah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Whoa. Oh, look at that jiggle. Damn. Damn, I'm jiggling. <laughs> Cute wall. Shut the fuck up. Uh, do you want me to take off your cat ears, chat? Oh. Look at that hair bounce. Oh. Whatever, guys. Nice hair physic. <laughs> All right, time to play basketball. Oh, I have to move a little bit. Do you really need to watch the game? You're just watching because of me, right? <laughs> Ears are part of your body? Hmm. Oh shit. All is quiet for a time then. Oh! My dogs! Oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> How do I do a screamo? <laughs> this sounds like a very screamo ish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I go to work every day and I can pay less of my work. I don't wanna work every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bar beautiful. <laughs> uh. That's Parker Ashboss. Real piece of freak. Just don't make eye contact. Oh, why? Parker Ashboss. Cool name. Does his paw have an ash in it? Real trouble making her who trails in the defeat of the triumvirate to stand against him. Cool. Oh, shoot. I well, look at this lot. Giving a one of our own, oh, concerning with the two leggers. You're a disgrace there, mate. You realize? Oh, the British! Oh, yeah, well, uh, look at this lot. <laughs> Even got one of our own, uh, consorting with the two leggers. You're a disgrace there, mate. You realize? <laughs> I, I can't speak British, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Didn't know you knew about the rights. Oh, I know about a lot of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're going to be very, very sad after we pie that floor with you here. <laughs> that you know whose back you scratched to earn yourself a spot in the high and mighty Nightwing stare. <laughs> Sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> oh, you sound, we laugh the same. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit! <laughs> we sat, we laughed like <laughs> similarly. Am I am I British then? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Freaking laughs. That's me. The cur barker laughs away as his back stumbles after him. You hear him howling and crackling as the stars begin to glow. Am I actually the part of the night wings? Waking up is so hard! Why work when you could just lie down in your bed looking at porn? To the splendors of the accursed cairn of Aoub. I know You shall find the downside grows less pleasant from this point. But first, there's a tradition to uphold. <laughs> This time you stand against the dissidents. What's the dissidents? Even now they hunger to defeat you. Cool. Perhaps not simply to regain their freedom, but to deny you yours. Um. <laughs> As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curse stand against the night continues, hooting and howling. Come on, let, let's boil some blood. The, then Rookie pulls you aside. Oh my god, Rookie, are you a better cur? Come on. Show some confidence, Rookie. Come on, you could defeat this. Um, look, sister. I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? You sense he means it. You make a mental note to ask about history with Barker. Whatever time permits. It's alright, Rookie. You better dog. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Rookie. It's okay. It's okay to go back. Uh, I will definitely not put you in. We can take care of them. Begging your pardon, if you don't need another stand to at your side tonight, I have someone here who I could recommend. Whoa. Well, wait, what? Don't be coy with us, Ministrel. Don the ropes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I do not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I am just here to sing while you guys fight it out. I was instead referring to this little one. <laughs> ah, so cute! Ah! <laughs> oh. Ski! He still seems to be volunteering to take on your adversary. Ah! It's so cute! I must buy all of your merchandise, you cute one. Ah! So cute! Absurd. The imp knows the rights. He knows a great deal. So long as the knight will stand together. He shall be at their side. Though you need not to you need not to take my word for it. Tizo, our adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show us your comrades what you could do. The little imp peers at you. He sends his connection to the rice as he awaits your guidance. Tizo, come on! Ah! Tizo seems excited to demonstrate some of his favorite tricks. Okay, 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 let's see. Reader, influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He's inviting you to try. Okay, I will. I will. Another joins your ranks. Yes, Logan. And a mere imp. What? Although, oh, no, it cannot be. Oh, I love that vocal fry. We shall see what comes of this new partnership of yours. Voita, thank you for the super. Cute bulldogs for all the pets you're accumulating on the road. I know they're so cute. <laughs> Look at the way he walks! Oh my god! Oh, that is so cute. I'm so sorry. It is literally the cutest thing ever. Flutter. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> uh, RT to zip. B to implode. Explodes! Okay, 
he explodes? So... How, how fast did he come back? Press Y to Well, that's done, Everest, Tizo. Oh, okay. I think... Um, I think he's a good, um... He's a good, uh... Um... I didn't check his aura. Scrack! Tizo is happy to lend his support during the rights. If he could use his... <laughs> he's so cute! <laughs> Well done, reader. Who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings? Who shall conduct the rite? Who shall conduct the rite? No doggy for sure. Can we take off like the the rite so we can use it from another one? Cool. Okay, let me take off. <laughs> I'm a sucker for cute things. That's why I like chat a lot. Because of your cat ears. Be grateful. If I take off your cat ears... You're okay. <laughs> okay, of course we gotta choose her. Okay, um, I think... Can you build human ears? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, should we try? Should we try Tizzo? Okay, let's try Tizzo. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Hold on. Oh, wow. Uh, sorry. <gasps> oh, okay. We have time. Uh, I want to watch, um... What the hell? I want to watch... The... Uh, the... The Dead by Daylight. I want to watch The Dead by Daylight today. So I might end my stream maybe around... Um... Miss, what time is it? Maybe like 7-ish, if that's okay. <laughs> With Rose and me, yeah, it's okay if I end it a little bit early than usual. I mean, I've been streaming for freaking uh, 4 hours. Maybe I should just stop and stream for 4 hours. Mm. I want to get a little bit of rest because, um... My voice is starting to die. And uh, like, talking and narrating. This this game is super fun though. Uh, we'll head over after this. Maybe maybe an hour more. Oh, uh, forty. Anytime. <laughs> I'm talking to the chat. Sorry, narrator. Give me one moment. Ah, uh, this is why I love Super Giant so much. This is exactly. The reason why I love this game so much. It will literally call you out. <laughs> Sheesh! Ah. Okay, um, let's see. Tomorrow, uh, might. I don't know how long Anna will start to play Hades. I wanna watch. <laughs> I wanna watch her play Hades! So, I might change my... Uh, I might change my stream schedule for Pyre, if that's okay. Because, you know, it's my best friend. She's playing my favorite game, which is Hades. So, I might uh, move my Pyre. Uh, it's, she says she's gonna start at like 12. So, maybe I'll start at like 4. I don't know how long she tends to play the game. You promise back seating? <clears throat> I love how much enthusiasm you have for this game. Yeah, it's a fun game! Even though I suck at the controls, it's really fun. Take your time, Pyre's long. Oh, okay. Good. Good. <laughs> okay, what, should, what should I do? Um, wh what am I doing now? Okay, um... No dog for today. We could... It's just... It's just his, um... His, uh... He has no aura. Is that correct? Does he have aura? I didn't remember him having an aura. It looks like his aura is... Um, big. How do I check his aura though? <clears throat> though hate is mostly because of the rogue light side. Ah. Tizzle has huge aura when he explodes, right? 
Okay, let's see. Um... Uh, the little watcher, he's a venerable a drive imp who seems to know the ins and outs of the Nightwing's black light. Implode, flutter. His OR is huge. Um, imps are known for having superior appetites, but not for having much in the way of intellect. <gasps> That's me! Am I an imp? <laughs> this particular imp defies such all common understanding. No! No! And seems to be deeply connected to the black wagon of the Nightwings. And perhaps the rights themselves. You and quickly form an, an understanding. Is he cursed? Is he a human? Oh. <coughs> Is he a human? Is he. It feels like if he knows is if okay the thing is the thing is, is he's unconventional. So I don't know because like you know when you be when you've been outside of the uh, in the exile do you change into just a demon or can you change as an M two? Tizu is very old. Oh I see I see. <sighs> oh so cute. All right I'm gonna give you this one. I'm gonna play you. Tizo. Oh, it's big! Oh my god, her, his aura is big! What? Okay, um... We are going to choose... Since we already have a big aura for our goalie, I think we should just choose... Ed, um... Hedwin. Well... Hedwin. Should summon. The choice is cast. Ta-da! Here! Tizo is ready to pull himself against the distance. Time's up, you swell. Come on, boys. Let's get him. <laughs> la hi. La 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 la. It's ball time. Oh, Woo. 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 Oh, shit. Come here. Come here. Come here, bitch. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why are you stuck? Wait, is this is that a bug? Hello? Okay. <laughs> what you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Simply monstrous. Simply monstrous! Okay. No. No. No, 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 no. I must deny myself. Is it deep? A weak attempt and yet it hit the mark. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> A weak attempt and yet it hit the mark. A mere attempt. Okay. A mere attempt. Wait, what happened? Oof. Oof! Okay. Okay, I'm messing up stuff. I'm still messing up, but that's okay. We are still at the verge of learning. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, ah. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Imp, you stay here. It's 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 better if you stay here. Yeah! The stifled effort. Okay, 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 this is fine. This is fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Jump! Right now! Okay. Okay, you stay there. The adversary's flame. Nice. Uh. Okay, stay there. Stay here. Oh. Oh. Now then. What? How's that possible? Okay, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. We gotta defend. What? How? Oh, fuck. 
Is that a good thing? Okay. Stay there. Tizo banished. Fay threw it in. Nice! Ooh. Me blow! Night wings, find a win! Bye, I can't. Faye. Shut up! What do you mean, bye, Fay? What? I was, oh my god, I passed it. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Okay. I should stop pressing A. Glorious. Cute. Oh, wait. Okay. Um. Shit. Edwin okay. is banished. <laughs> Shame. I'm dumb. You didn't see that. That did not happen. <laughs> that did not happen. You guys didn't see anything, okay? It didn't see anything. No more. They banished. Wait, what? The orb quenches the flame. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Wait a minute. Resplendent. Oh, I did. I forgot you. Don't. You have to jump. All right, you like that? Does it? No more fussing around, right? My boys and me were proper angry now. Ah, oh! oh no! Oh no! What's happening? Moi kaida! Your adversary Barker there seems rather fired up. And it is done. It is done! I didn't know what happened! The night wings prevail yet again! Success! Accomplished effortlessly, <laughs> I might add. Thank you. Thus end this night's proceedings. Noxalis! Oh wow. Uh, oh wow, I thought. Did we just win? Did we just beat them? <laughs> Teasel is excited to have prevailed in his first right like <laughs> Remember Teasel can fly? Oh yeah, I forgot. We don't deserve this cute little imp. <laughs> well, well, I'll be heaping a bowl of dung, but I can't just believe you shoddy let showed us for what like that. My boys and I will have to take you for tad more serious next time. Oh, thank you, Barker. You're a good dog too, don't worry. I like the little bowl. <gasps> Cerberus? One, two, three? Is this a Cerberus reference? <laughs> Barker? <laughs> Red? Hades? <laughs> Till then, uh, you just be sure to tell old rookie Greentail that yours truly, he remembers everything you hear. <laughs> The rights do tend to teach something of trust. Thank you, Logan. Does the narrator have its own name? I think I'm beginning to understand something of all of this, my friend. Just a mastery. Stamina twice as usual. Lift more stamina, letting him jump and spring more often. Hold on, let's do this one. The Master General reveals his stratagem. Something's awakened in the moon-touched girl. The scribes, they whisper to me. They do from time to time. Okay. Brief charge up before Jane jumps on sprint. Uh, fake has her aura. It's pretty reduced. Let's get this one. A devious trick from the rope collar. <laughs> He too feels soul and respect from the rights and all their myriad complexities. The voice? Oh, it's called the voice, okay. Thanks, the voice. If banished, Tisu drops a moon sign and Alice can instantly transport to the Oh, that's pretty good. Much faster than usual. I like the speed. 
We go for speed. Tis the influence of the imp scribe. Thank you, the voice. Someday I will get to match you in your English accent. But for now, this will suffice. <laughs> Until the next right. Thank you, the voice. Appreciate the narration from the game. Oh, I really like that. I really like their narration that they do. Sp Splendid was your guidance of the Nightwings, reader. Your fellows are fortunate to have found such as you. May you find a freedom that you seek. During the rights, Excel are instantly banished if they don't touch the adversary's aura. I'm still getting a hang of the, the basketball stuff, but pretty fun. The lore is fun. Um, after defeating dissidents with a great progress, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeal and figure out how the best to proceed. You all right, rookie? I think so, chum. I just need a little time. I didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. You don't owe him some... You don't owe me in your conscience. We'll sort things out with him. You always do. Oh, is he the reason why he got banished? And exiled? <laughs> I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of the night is waning. Reader, would you join us outside, please? You find Jodario and the lone minstrel gazing through the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. He looked towards the heavens. Oh, me see? Ah, still just a chat with your cat ears. Where are we going next? Millie! Millie! The bog star. The bog star burns bright over a fetid cavern in the flagging hands. Okay, let's go. Hey! Cute monsters. Seven, two star. Then it is I feared. We are to press further north, beneath into the valley of flagging hands. Gloomfield, desolate region of the downside and beyond which lies the sea. Sea? Beach episode? Let's yes, freaking go. The scribes are watching over us. They will protect us whenever we go. Glory, be Had you been to flagging hands, you will not say such things. The scribe have surely turned their basque, basque, backs on that place. If I may, the bleakness of the flagging hands shall wear upon you, to be sure. I urge for you to take what rest you can, for you shall need your strength upon the road ahead. Your fellow exiles agreed to turn into the remainder of the night. At done, you have to press deeper into the downside. Adventures! Let's talk real quick. Wanna talk to the dog? Also, what is this? Yapping <laughs> stone, please. Oh, jeez, I'm so cute. What the fuck? I wanna. Does is Super Giant have a, a Tizo plushie? Let me. Please tell me as a Tizo. A uh, Super Giant games store. Online store collectibles. What do you mean you're close? Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Let me in! <sighs> God damn! Why? I bought um, I bought a Slate Aspire merchandise the other day. I'm gonna wait for it to to ship here, and then I'm gonna show you guys. I got the slime, <laughs> the slime boss, the one with the fedora. I don't know if it's a fedora or top hat. It's so cute. I wanted a I wanted a knob gob knob gremlin, but they don't sell it. So sad. A big sad. I did not buy the Zagreus Figma. I was too late. Let's talk to Rocky. Rocky. He can tell something is troubling Rocky, though he seems relieved to see you. Hey, uh, sister, listen. I got to level with you real quick. You remember Barker, don't you? Not exactly easy to forget, though. Believe you me, I try. Well, he got me by the scruff. Oh, he never seen him so angry before. 
I've been down here a little while, as you can see by now, but Barker has been here longer. He's made quite a name down here. As for me, I needed help. You understand? I had a little certain standard to uphold. So I figured he would be the one to ask. <sighs> then Rookie hesitates. But then his familiar green returns. So what if I owe him though, right, sister? I got people back on the other side, and just between us, we're loaded. I mean, rich! My little problem with Barker, soon it's gonna take off itself. Just as soon as my people send the money though. So, I'm telling you right here and now, you don't even need to worry about it. And I'm sure everything that I front is going to end up real tidy real soon. With that, he scampers off before he can respond. It seems like Rookie owes a lot of debt of some sort. What's on the line exactly? Well, sure. We'll see what happened. Hmm, very sus. Sussy. What is that word again that says sus? In scoopy shoes. <laughs> We should continue still or should we just go okay let's go to the next one let's do the next chapter the last one for tonight and then i'm gonna continue tomorrow Ta -ba -ba. last one calm down you find hedwin and jodario assessing the current situation with the ministerial are you most certain i madame i make no claim the journey shall be pleasant but it is necessary in scope <laughs> Edwin motions to you as, he, as they continue talking. It seems we'll have some work to do once we arrive in flagging hands. Let's get going. Soon as you're ready, sooner we get there, sooner we can leave. I'm going to the flagging hands. And I have not been on the region. Let us go far and wide To escape and reach commonwealth Yeah, what the? Cool So pretty I love the music, I really love the music Oh Ooh, this feels like very... Hmm... Pokemon dungeon e Right? E can you feel it? The Pokemon dungeon-ish feel? Kinda? Okay Love the art in this game so much? Me too Consider how to proceed Alright Let's go The flagging hands region provide as dismal as Jodariel indicated the air is thick and foul. Where's my beach episode? I thought this is the beach! How far to the pit of Milith? All the way across to the marshlands to the coast. Reader, would you join me in the wagon for a moment? We have a matter to discuss. Why do you keep dragging me, mister? Shadariel and Hedwin exchange looks, then she turns to you. Go see what he wants. Okay. What do you want from me? <gasps> is that a ball? Thank you for the ball. Thank you for your time, reader. I have something for you. On behalf of my client, before you is an artifact called Beyonder Crystal. A major artifact connected to the rites. You observe a shimmering crystal of some sort besides the Book of Rites. As of you surmise, the triumvirates you are confront during the rites shall stop at nothing to prevail against you. We have prepared this for quite some time. The Beyonder Crystal may help to ensure that you are well prepared in turn. It is a resource now at your disposal, to be used at your discretion. Gaze upon it, and you shall see what I mean. Henceforth, the Beyonder Crystal is calling you. The last time I took a crystal was Mito Senpai's crystal, and it transported me into situations that I would never think I would be in. So here goes nothing. You look up on the shimmering surface of the Beyonder Crystal. Some of your senses fail, though you retain a hold of your consciousness. An apparition. Ooh, who are you? Before you, clad in remnants of the rites, but incorporeal. Oh, it's 
Phantom. I sense that you are not a total idiot. She reaches for the class in her mask. <gasps> ah, she's so pretty! Oh, oh my god, she's very pretty. Hello. Hello, Phantom. So the Nightwings have returned. Are you Sandalwood? Is this you, Sandalwood? Oh. Oh, Sandra. Okay. Oh, but where are my manners? You must be the lovely reader. Please call me Sandra. Sandra the Unseeing. She's a wraith expelled for eternity within the Beyonder Crystal and bound to serve the rites. Oh. Expelled for eternity. Okay. We met briefly before when you be first beheld the book. When we were stuck inside of it, I was among of the phantoms your companions banished there. No doubt stalking their egos. You listen well enough to that damn voice. Now, I suggest you listen well to me. Uh, he's serving? She's serving me? Oh. I am bound to serve it to you, along with any idiots whose freedoms happen to be intertwined with yours. I know the rights better than anyone. I soon can whip you into shape. But if you take the advantage of my services... First, I offer scribe trials to you, those friends of yours. If they can pass, it shall be worth their whys and yours. Secondly, my Beyonders and I avail ourselves for practice rites. So you should be inclined. Or you could always come and chat and freely free me from eternity of boredom, hmm? You have invoked Sandra from the Beyonder Crystal. What do you wish to do? Um, I guess uh, I guess we could just talk to her. What's what's up? What's up, baby girl? You are uh, free. <laughs> I do appreciate the effort and the small talk with me, reader. Anything to break from the monotony, 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 monotony of staring at the void within this place. Not that I could see if I tried. Or my better so. Certainly, I could merely talk with my fellow Beyonders trapped here as they are with me. You might expect that we all would keep each other company. There's one problem there, however. We are sick of one another. <laughs> she laughs again, perhaps not at a joke, but instead at her predicament. I do exaggerate to some extent, but there's certain truth within this. We have been stuck together long enough that we have grown more distant rather than more close. But I had best wear to welcome with the likes of you. As I have been long since done with the all others here. So carry on for now, and if those fools with whom travel learn something, come bring them forth to me, and I shall see it learn some more. Oh, cool. Come in. Okay, let's uh, let's play some uh, scribe. Indeed, it looks though one of those failures of yours is ready for a lesson in pain. <laughs> Queen Ma'am, thank you for the super! Voice acting? Oh, don't make me shy. I I'm shy. Funds for the future super giant merch? Thank you! I will make sure that I will buy all of their merchandise. Well, I really want to buy something from Hades. So that's one thing. I also want to buy uh, the imp. I want an imp plush. Or the dog. <sighs> Who shall brave one of Sandra's scribe trials? Just among the worthy. All right! We play the imp. What do you mean, ineligible? Oh, what? Just the dog? Okay, fine. What the hell? You play with the dog. What? The loudmouth cur? Well, I suppose that he is ready. Technically, though, I have a litany of reservations about him. But let us bring him forth. Soon, Ricky appears in heat of the summons. Uh, sister? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh oh, sorry. Go to the ball. Get inside the orb, rookie.
Be a good dog now. Oh. <laughs> Did we just drag him? <laughs> All right, what's the big idea, huh? This is some kind of trick you're playing, sister? The apparition of Sandra appears, infesting her mask. <laughs> we just dragged. <laughs> We freaking dragged him! <laughs> Sorry, rookie. This is all for your own good. <laughs> Shut up your snout and listen well, Kerr. You answer to me here. What? what? Your mouth runs quicker than no stubby little paws. <laughs> I kind of feel bad! Rookie just had a really tough time earlier. We are forcing him to play a game, and this <laughs> Sandra's just really mean. <laughs> you have to learn. You have much to learn if you have any intent to prevail in the rites. Let us see how you fare without the benefit of your trusted comrades. Save for your lovely reader. Uh, this gotta be uh, I guess it's you and me then, huh, sister? Wherever you are. Alright, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not ready for this. Keep uh, this. Alright. Yeah, yeah. B? How do I? How do I? Jump? B, 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 right? B, B, B. No, no, no. Get out of here. B is to jump, right? Alright. Caught. Oh, shit. Wait, what did, how did I die? How did I die? Oh shit. Okay, come on. Nice save. Okay. Did I got it? Nice. Very nice. Oh fuck! Okay. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Extra jump. Extra jump, right? Extra jump. Okay, okay, okay. It's a good training too. Oh, oh, oh shit. Nice. Huh? Oh fuck. It's okay, we're doing better. Where, where's the ball? Where's the freaking ball? Oh shit, I died. Remember to cast. This is a mechanic that I barely use in Hades. Like the, the hold stuff. Okay, dash, just dash. Fuck you. Glorious dive, indeed. Noxalax! Noxalax! Rookie, let's go! You ever do an ASMR like Pomo just did? Scenario deal? Like, um... I don't mean... The... The blackjack? That's how we do it, right, sister? It is, and you acknowledge likewise. That you did not do it on your own, despite having to face my demon friends all by yourself. You passed my test, Kerr. Congratulations are now in order. Both to you and to your lovely reader. Now, get the fuck out of my orb. Bye. Oh, she just premiered it here. Watch ASMR, really? Okay, I'm gonna watch it. Watch. Watch it after. I see a prayer boom. That Sandra kind of gave me by the shakes, you know what I mean, sister? Hey! What's that you got? Jomer's Fang. Ooh. Rank 5 Legendary Talisman? Holy! What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's equip it to him. Can I use it to everyone? Oh no, it's specifically for the dog, huh? Only for the dog. Okay, I'll take it. Cassie's aura, it lingers longer than usual. Oh my god. That's nice. Is do you get random? This is special and oh okay, okay. Oh 
Okay. Um. Should we continue? Uh, I think I think I should just stop here right now. I think that's a good way to end the stream. Four hours. Four hours. Yes. Yes. Cause my my throat's starting to hurt. <laughs> good call. Good stream. Thank you. Okay. This is a good stopping point. All right. So that is our first take of a pyre. That is gonna be our first series out of many, 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 many. Just got my hair washed at the salon. Highly recommended if you're it, it, interested in balding treatment. She'll really clean your hair off. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching my pyre stream. I had so much fun playing this game. Super, super fun. And I'm looking forward to more adventures. Tomorrow, I will be doing pyre number two. We'll be continuing our adventures here. I might have to stream a little bit later. Because I want to watch Anna play Hades. And uh, thank you so much for watching! All the way until the end! Let me see who's streaming right now. So... Okay, let's go to the Zatsu. Whee! Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Ah! Hello! Okay. Who is streaming right now? Let me see... Okay, um... Elira's doing Dark Souls. And then... At 8 p.m., Selena will be doing. Oh, wait. So Selena is doing an Apex with a Fulger and Alban. And on top of that, there will be a Dead by Daylight collab with Finana, Petra, Wozumisama, and Uki. Yeah, and then uh, later, in a little bit, I will be doing my ASMR stream. A lot of people wanted me to do tapping, so I will go do that. I have to run to a drugstore to get like a fake nail, so that way I could tap with the woods and stuff. Most things I could tap here. Yeah, so that is it for my stream. Oh, yeah, so I think Oki, Wozumi, and uh, Raymo is still doing Apex. But yeah, I had so much fun playing Pyre. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. I really enjoyed this game a lot. And I hope you guys uh, also enjoyed it. And I will see you guys... Tomorrow! Whee! Thank you, thank you! Soeja! Otsumiri! Woohoo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Bye-bye! Bye-bye, Otsumiri! Bye-bye! How do I end? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so used to like ending my ASMR stream to just like stop streaming. I forgot. Here, here's an ending stream. <laughs>